the name's Laura. I've not found the perfect dress because I've not looked for it yet. Oh, I'm never going to be able to choose, ever. I do feel a bit like a fish out of water. I'd never go dress shopping for anything at all. When was the last time you went shopping? Years, I think. I'll either get something when I'm at the supermarket at the weekend or if I'm in bed and I'm just online. I am beginning to panic a bit. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Here's our gorgeous Hi. bright Laura. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, you are so pretty. Give over. Look at give over. Give over. Tell me about the fiance. Michael. He, we've been together 15 years. My relationship with Laura is uh, very loving. Um, very, very family orientated, aren't we? Very much so. Yes. <laughs> We've wanted to get married for ages, but everything's always come up, kids, moving house, things like that. So, time is right now. It's our time. Our time, yeah. yeah. Talk to me about budgets. What have we got to play around with today? We're looking at about 1500 mm. budget, aren't we? Yeah. And have you got an idea of what you want already? I'd like something a bit fitted. Yeah. Uh, rather than big. My mum would like a nice back, she said. A but... nice low back. Oh. Gorgeous. Yeah. If I had Laurie's figure, I would... Definitely show it. I would show everybody. I think my mum would like me to have something a bit revealing, whereas I think Gemma would probably be a bit more reserved. So, yes, they'll be different that way. I've never seen Laura in a, a fancy frock or anything. And to see my daughter dressed in a wedding dress is going to be just mind-blowing. Oh, I've come all emotional. Oh. I said I wasn't going to cry. So, Laura, how do you feel? I feel lovely in it. If I said to you, right, this is the dress, would you be happy? I would. <laughs> oh, my God, on the first I rock. know! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if your entourage feel the same way. So, Mum, what do you think? I think it's beautiful. She looks fabulous. She looks like a model. I love it, Laura. You look gorgeous. <laughs> I'm off again. <laughs> <laughs> Give away. Gemma, in dip. The back of the dress is absolutely stunning, but it's just not wowing me. I'm not keen on the lowness of it. Really? Yeah. The cut is too revealing at the front. And Paige, what do you think? I'm the same as Gemma. I like the bling and I like how it fits. I just don't like the, the cut the of low it. The plunge. I find it very sexy, though. Yeah. Too sexy? Yeah. Oh, girls, the dress can never be too sexy. I think Laura is probably feeling really giddy because it is the first dress she's tried on. I think you look incredible. Thank you. However, it is your first dress, so I think we should move on and let's maybe ramp the sexy down. Mmm, I like sexy. So I think if you've got it, you've got to flaunt it. Ready? Yeah. Right, let's go. I'm hoping that it does cover up a bit more at the front. Not the comments that I wanted, but I don't want to be settling for anything less than perfect. I'm hoping that he doesn't lose the gorgeousness of the back, but he does cover up a bit more at the front. I still want that element of sexy in it, and I still want the figure shaping, because she's a beautiful figure. Should we find out what the guys think? I love the other one. And I love this more. Because less is it's more. more. It's glamorous, it's absolutely beautiful. Gemma. Love it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> but... If you could put the back of that dress onto that, because I just loved the back of that dress with that little panel bit, but I so much prefer the front of this dress. Paige, what are we thinking? I like it better than the other one. I don't like the stripper skim. 
You don't. I'm so surprised. I think that that's its beauty. Sorry. I quite like the strip of skin, but for Paige to say she wasn't keen on it, maybe I should rethink that. Are you ready for the ultimate in dress gasm? <laughs> I am ready for a dress gasm. As soon as he brought in dress number three, I knew he was saving the best for last. She never got emotional with the first two. She would get emotional with the one. She'll yeah. litter. On the count of three. One, two, three. Perfect, isn't it? Yeah, it's this one. Don't you look gorgeous? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Oh, <laughs> Stop it. I don't cry at anything. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> you just steamed my glass. <laughs> I just hope, hope that Gemma and Paige love it as well. And if they don't, I'm walking out. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I need to see her feel wow, because I don't quite get it with the first two. Sorry, I'll be good to I did get emotional, and I knew she'd been emotional, because I could tell, and I knew she felt that was the one. I'm going again. <laughs> I feel amazing in this dress. The back is just what you wanted, Gemma. Paige, I'm not showing any skin. And Mum, you've just liked every single one. <laughs> you've just liked so. every <laughs> You're beautiful in every bomb. That is the dress. She looks so confident and beautiful in it. It's really figure-hugging and it looks gorgeous. So it leaves me a very important question to ask you, Laura. Are you saying yes to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. Yes! Congratulations. I can't believe I found my yes dress in one day. I thought it'd take me a lot longer. I couldn't expect anything better, and I think everybody's just gonna be gobsmacked. Makes me feel very happy, very special, very beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. My name's Mel, and my dress, my wedding dress, has to be the sexiest dress ever. My goodness! I love it. And that means the more flesh on show, the better. <laughs> oh, my God. I've brought today my one of my best friends, Leanne. Oh, oh, yes, I like the back on that one. And Carl, who is also another one of my best friends, and he's also best friends with my fiance Ollie. And I've brought my beautiful mother in law, Denise. Well, we want the oh, we want a bit of boobs you out. Stop saying low. Well, I want the boobs out. Less is more, puppies stay in. <laughs> She's got a very softer side mm -hmm. that I think needs to be brought out. Super sex is not the way forward not for a for wedding. wedding no. Hello. Hello. How are you, Mel? Oh my God, Hello, yes. gorgeous. Mwah. 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 How are you? You well? Really nice to good. meet you too. So congratulations, <laughs> then. You're you getting so married. Hello. What's his name? He's Ollie. 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 What is your budget for your dress today? About two, two and a half-ish. Which is a good budget, isn't good it? Good budget. A yeah. really good budget. And do you know what you're looking for? Something tells me that you kind of know your style. I do. Yeah. Sexy. What are you... Sexy. Yes, sexy. 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 I paid a lot for these right. and a lot for my patterns, and I want to show them off. Mel has obviously had some work done, and she's not afraid to say that she's had work done. So she can be very, very revealing. I would really like low back, low front, tight, skin tight. That's a thong. You yeah, know, you've just literally <laughs> described a pair of pants. I'm quite happy with the showing. She's got beautiful body, but the puppies need to stay in the dress. Classy. Right, OK. Not trashy. OK. Classy, not trashy, puppies in the kennel. I want to feel sexy, and it's my wedding day, so we'll just have to wait and see.
Mel, tell us what you're thinking. Well, I, I, I love it. I love everything about it. Love the train in the back. And there's a bit of side boob as well, which is fab. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. Do you? I really do. I love all the detail, how it makes your waist look even tinier than what it actually is. I love that the puppies look nice and secure. You look stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm really pleased you've went for something revealing but not so revealing, because that was my bit of a concern. I didn't want to have to tell you that, no. I think Ollie will love it for the simple fact is he is the only one that should be seeing Absolutely. these, not everybody else. <laughs> yeah, Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm safe ground. Yeah. <laughs> He's all right with that. Yeah. But this is your first dress. It is, can you believe it's it? It's going to go nowhere. We can come back here. I think that what we should do, though, Bernie, I think we should ramp it up. Now, let's go pure sex. Let's go to the space that you wanted to go to originally, because I think, actually, maybe you're slightly more conservative than you thought. Mm. We'll see. So let's come with it. me. <laughs> Ollie's mum's face just went bright red. I think she wanted to cry. Leanne was just like, oh my god, no. Carl was mortified, didn't know where to look. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> When you look at the mirror, what do you see? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I absolutely love it. It's me. It's like, I look in there and I feel proud of myself. I feel proud of my body. I feel proud of what I've achieved. <laughs> this is my story dress. I've got a lot of respect for you, Melon. I know you've come a long way and I know a little bit about your story, but that is definitely a no. Oh. It's not you, darling. And it's making me feel quite ill looking at it. <laughs> I really don't like it. It's vile. Oh. I can't see the softer no. Mel in that. No. You can maybe wear it for bed or something, but... <laughs> Sorry. It's a really expensive nighting. I, I, I know, but it's just not... It's but doing like nothing nice, for your tats. Like a nice, what, what? like, white pair of knickers with some diamonds no, on, darling. some lace. No. Sorry, I love you, I do, but we've already had this discussion <laughs> and I told you I'd be honest, but I don't like anything about it. We wouldn't be good friends at all if we let her go to a wedding like that. Babe, it's your wedding day and Ollie would have a fit. Absolutely. They were all like, no, no, I hate it. I was like, well, no, hold on a minute. I really like this. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this where I want to go with it. Oh. Walking in to show the entourage the dress, I just felt like I was beaming. I was glowing. I'm in love, completely in love. The first dress I put it on and I was like, oh my God, like I'm in a wedding dress and it looked beautiful. The second dress, it was like, yeah, look at me. But this is like both. It's like the old me, the new me. Being there in that moment in that dress, it's exactly what I want. I can definitely start to see the old Mel positively, whereas it's always been in my head that the old Mel was so negative. You know, being vulnerable isn't a bad thing all the time. And let's find out what the guys think. I love it. <laughs> do you love it? I do. And I love how happy you are. I just love Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> this is it. your story now, though. Yeah. Isn't Absolutely. It? Yeah. Yeah. This is the vulnerable Mel working its way up to the racy Mel and. The finish of the story is the smile on your face and saying, I do. 
So it leaves me a very important question to ask you, Mel. Mm -hmm. Are you going to say yes to the dress? Yes. smile on her face and that dress. It was lovely. Come on. Ooh. Everything I've been through, this is a pinnacle, this is it. It's all led up to this one moment in this one dress. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, Hayley, nice Hello. to meet you. you. So, congratulations. Thank you. And how long have you been engaged? <laughs> Be two years in October. Right, so, OK. Oh, so quite a long year. time then. Yeah. And tell us about the boy. He's the uh, love of my life. He's just a general sweetheart. You look after me, I look after you. You're caring, you make out as though you're this hard shell that you've got a really soft centre, really. Like, how you talk to, like, your friends and that is totally different to how you talk to me. Like, usually you'll talk to your mates like, all right. So, uh, you do, you do. Know, with, with me, you're like, you're all right, babe, how was your day? You're just really thoughtful. She's you always do. there for me. She's my backbone, if I'm honest. I'm, I've, I like to think I'm tough, but Ailey, Ailey gives me my strength. She does. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us about budget. 1,500 yeah. and two as a push. OK, so it's somewhere between. So you don't want to go over two? No. Have you been wedding dress shopping before? I went with my mum. Bad idea. It were a dress that didn't fit me at all. It were massive. I looked like a giant umpa -lumpa. It just didn't go to plan. And who chose the dress? Me. The dress my mum picked out for me on the day was a princess dress and I did look like a massive whale in it. It was just a nightmare, a complete nightmare. How long ago was this? Oh, I was still quite chubby because I've lost four stone. Right, so okay, I was still congratulations. Quite chubby, thank you. I think that the princess dress, she should try it again. Um, now she's lost the weight, she's got such a tiny waist, it will accentuate her waist. Hopefully she will try another one today and make, make me happy. Do you agree that now, because you've lost four stone, maybe the princess gown might work? I'm going to give it a try, because it's sort of four against yeah, one. Yeah. Oh, so you all want we the all princess want gown? Princess. Wow. So your four entourage want the princess gown. What do you want? I want floaty. I don't want my nan and arms on show. Um, my little pouch at the belly, I need to get rid of that. So it's about keeping you happy today, yeah. looking after your self-esteem and your self-confidence, hiding your arms and your tummy, and then it's about making sure she looks like a princess on her yeah. wedding day. Yeah. Um, I think you four should go and take a load off, go and have a cup of tea. OK. And you go upstairs and get your kit off, <laughs> and we will jump into the rails and start choosing some dresses. I can see me and my mum bickering today cos we both want different things. My gut feeling is let's go, princess. Yeah, let's eliminate it, let's get it out uh -huh. of the way. But let's go for something with sleeves, uh -huh. let's go for something with high coverage, yeah. let's go for something petite on the waist, and Let's go something for the full coverage yeah. on the skirt as well. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Put the princess dress one on. Yes. yes. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> so, Hayley, can you just tell us about you in this dress? I just feel amazing. I feel, I do feel like a princess. <laughs> I really, I really love it. How do you feel about your body? <laughs> it rocks, doesn't it? <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I love how confident it makes me feel. I feel special. Mum, what do you think? It's fabulous, it's amazing, it's just what I wanted, so yeah. Sleeves pretty. Mm. Yeah. It just looks I stunning. mean, it does, it, it looks beautiful, Hayley. There's nothing I don't like about it. I think everything, everything's right. They keep giving me all these lovely comments and actually, for the first time, I believe them. <laughs> you look incredible. I feel it, I don't really want to take it off. off. Come with me, then. We've got the princess yeah. dress ladies. <laughs> Well, clearly, Hayley's mum is a very happy bunny, but Hayley imagined herself in something far more floaty for her big day. So I'm now going to give Hayley exactly what she wants, and I have got just the dress in mind.
You're desperate for the guys to love this dress, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't look like they are. I knew straight away they just had emotionless faces. I feel a little bit deflated seeing the second dress, and I think Hayley could see that with our reactions. There's something missing. I don't know what it is. You look beautiful. She looks stunning, but I, I don't like that one as much as the first, but... Oh, no. It's very plain. It's too plain, isn't yeah. it? I yeah. think it's a bit too it's old for it's, her. it's in a comfort zone. Yeah. It's hard to pick the right words to tell her that it's not the dress for her without knocking her confidence too much. You really do look stunning. Your waist doesn't look as tiny as it no, did in the first dress. No. The other really? dress brought you in more. Because we've seen the first dress, it doesn't compare, I'm afraid. Come on, gorgeous. I'm coming. I think we've upset. As soon as my back turned away from them, the tears were already forming. I was heartbroken that they didn't love the dress that I love. You're not all right? No. I love this dress. But if it's like four against one now. I can't have this dress without at least one of them agreeing with me. But at the same time, I still love the dress. OK. Really, really, really deserves to feel like a bride. Oh! oh. <laughs> Hayley, how do you feel? Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> I just love everything about it. It's not heavy. I can pick it up easy. I can turn around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A million dollars. This is a custom-made gown, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, are you shocked? Oh, it's gorgeous. More than the first one? Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Stunning. She looks beautiful. We've got a perfect combination of everything yeah. we all wanted. So, Hayley, it leaves me a very important question to ask you. Are you <laughs> saying yes to the dress? Yeah! Yay! <laughs> oh, my God. Congratulations. <laughs> it's not a complete princess dress, but it's stunning and I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a princess. She does, yeah. My name's Candice. How are we going to decide? I have been a bridesmaid seven times in the last five years, so today it is actually all about me being the bride. Hello! Hello, who's my gorgeous me. bride? Hello! Hello! Candice. Lovely to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. This is so exciting. Tell me all about the boy. So it's called Jordan and he is just lovely. Jordan and I met through a car share to work. One of the songs that came on the radio when I was driving was one of my karaoke songs, which is um, Country Roads by John Denver. Um, and that's when she fell in love with me because, you know, I'm just a natural. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jordan is very funny. He's cheesy, caring, selfless, and he's my best friend. I love him. I've not tried any dresses on. I'd like classy, glamorous style. Yeah. I kind of want to feel a little bit sexy that. and confident too. I also want to lose weight. How much weight are we talking about? A couple of stern, I would have liked it. Okay, so you're talking yeah. about between two and three dress sizes then, which makes a massive difference mm. in the style of dress that you go for. Yeah. I don't believe that anybody should have to lose weight to find happiness. I think it's just getting that confidence back as well yeah. with my body. Your sister's really nodding right now. <laughs> oh, is she? She's nodding. What do you think of what I've just said there? Yeah, I think she should just be happy. I started to gain weight four years ago after losing my mum. 
So it started to build up from there, really, and just, just gradually increased and increased. My mum, looking down today, will be saying, you look beautiful, darling. Even the thought of seeing her so confident is just making us all already cry. She deserves this. So in, in an ideal world with your sis here, if she was to find a dress and she didn't want to change her body at the end of it, would that kind of be your wedding dream? Yeah. Might I just add, by the yeah. way, is that you don't need to lose any weight. Oh, You're absolutely you. beautiful. Oh, I love you, God. All right, so come on. <laughs> Quite overwhelming, isn't it? Do you feel beautiful? I do, actually. I, I, do, I do, yeah. Let's spin round. Let's find out what the girls think. I just think it's beautiful, I do. And I think that it's there's the simplicity of it, but you look like there's, like, a princess element to it. You look so much slimmer. Really slims you in. I can see on her face she doesn't recognize the person staring back at her because she hasn't been this person for so long there's no meat poking out the pastry <laughs> she was like if you like a sausage roll i'll be telling you straight away you definitely don't look like a sausage roll you don't thank you you definitely look like a french fancy is what i would say <laughs> would you change anything about it I'm not that keen on the strappy taboo bit. I think it makes you look bigger chested than what you are. Obviously, she's my sister. We're so very close, so I couldn't let her walk in something that I felt like didn't do her the justice she deserves. When I was upstairs, I didn't think that it didn't look nice, but now she said I am starting to think she may be right. Now that we've worked out that you have this incredible body, we can play around with that yeah. now, can't we? Yeah. Can you believe you're saying that? No. Right, you've obviously got this massive smile on your face. I love this one more than I do the first one. I'd never ever thought I could wear these spaghetti straps, even though I've got more on sure. I feel much more confident and sexy. Sexy? I sexy! sexy. <laughs> I have never, ever heard my sister say she looks sexy in 31 years of my life. What's amazing about this is your level of confidence is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And you're showing more off. Yes. Yet you arrived today wanting to lose three stone. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> There's no losing three stone with this dress. This dress needs to have all of Candice to fit it out. Do you agree with that? I mean, I'm happy to not have to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think? I like this much more than the previous dress. I love all this top bit, mm -hmm. but I think I prefer the belt and the skirt with the other one. I'm feeling disappointed because I was just hoping that this would be the dress. So, Sherelle, what are we thinking? I'm not as keen. OK. I like the straps, but I liked the band on the last one. I think it made you look a lot slimmer from all angles. Like, now, front on, looks lovely. OK. Stood on a side, not my favourite view. She turned to the side, and it just wasn't so slimming or aesthetically pleasing. I love this top, forgetting about the waist as much, because I'm drawn to the top. I just think it's missing that... Waistband. Nipping. So I personally prefer dress two. So when she said that, I was a bit like, now what am I going to do? Saying we just hoped she was going to walk down, burst in with joy, and this is you. I really love it. I love the bardo. I love the waist. I love this little blingy thing. That surfer look. Sherelle, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of you, sis? 
You just look like a princess. Thank you. You look perfect, just the way you are. She looks like the most beautiful bride, and she looks like Candice again. Auntie So? Honestly, I don't, I'm just speechless. You look like a different person. Yeah. What a journey we've been on oh. today. It leads me a very important question to ask you. Are you saying yes to the dress? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely yes. How many of you? Like, Emotional, yeah. overwhelmed, happy, yeah. joyful. Have fun, yeah. So happy and so proud of it. My mum will be so proud to see her daughter standing there, getting married to the person she loves in the most perfect dress. Seven times a bridesmaid, and now I'm going to be the bride, and I just can't believe it. I can't wait to just have my own Cinderella moment. What I've seen all my best friends have, I can't wait to have that. Wow. My name's Claire. I have already bought a dress, but I've changed my mind. Wow. I'm like a kid oh, in a candy yeah. store. I think she's impulsive. Mm. Do you mm. agree with yes. I think she gets that from me, though, cos I'm yeah. a bit like that. <laughs> no, it's too... Lacey. Well, I think we've already tried on about 27 dresses. Yeah. No, I don't know. I'm not... No? Mm. I think I've got, like, goggles on now <laughs> and I just can't see anything but dresses. No, cos it's the same material yeah, the same as the one I've already thing. bought and I don't want that. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you. Who's Claire? Me. So then, you've brought me gifts. I have. This is the dress that I bought. You've bought a dress? Yeah. Why are we here then? Let's all go to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> I think I felt a bit pressured into buying it. We tried on dress after dress after dress, and then she thought she knew what she wanted and went for it. My fiancé said to me, I would really like a dress that's figure-hugging, shows your bum off. Right. So I went out, and that's all I was focusing on. Right. Tom and I have been together about 16 months. He's just amazing. He is just, like, everything that I could ever wish for. What I love about Claire is pretty much everything. She's beautiful. Can't wait to become Mr and Mrs. Here she is. I've just pulled out, potentially, your wedding dress. Yeah. How are you feeling? It's just a dress. Just a dress? It's not wowing me. We've got a Winter Wonderland-themed wedding. I just want something a bit more... Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We can well, do wow. You yeah. are, you've definitely <laughs> come to the right place for the wowness. If you want to walk in there and you've got to compete with all the Christmas decorations yes. and all of that stuff, then then it's got to be a big dress. It does. Yes. <laughs> She's got herself in a bit of a tears. I think. Yeah. Herself confused after trying so many different things on. What do you have to spend today? Um, around sort of fifteen hundred. Okay. Um, so I just want to be able to find okay. the right one. Right then, I've got your first dress. It's got the embellished bodice, and then it's got the dramatic underlayer with all of your sparkle just here. I'm thinking, this is not a princess dress. One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> yeah, still out a bit on the skirt. It's not what I thought it was going to look like. You're going to have to give me some guidance as to what, what you're thinking with the skirt, then. Sort of a bit more... You want more volume? The shape, yeah. This is not poofy enough for me. This is adding, I would say, probably about 60% volume to that skirt. Yeah. That's more the thing I had. So you now want full-on, in-your-face, massive <laughs> postal code size skirt. Yes. Well, let's yeah. find out exactly what the family think. OK. I think she's totally... Confused. I think I'll have that one. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, and then all of a sudden, next day, it's, oh, yeah. I didn't quite like that one. <laughs> very worried. Yeah, very worried. Because I don't know what the next step is, other than no. more dress shopping. So, Claire, my darling, talk us through what you can see. 
So I really like this fitted top half. I love how full the skirt is now. Yeah. It's nice, I really like it. Let's find out what your gorgeous entourage thinks. Let's talk to you mum first. I like it. I do like it. I like how it shimmers. I like the little thin diamante straps. She looks beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. I feel the same as well, you know. It's, it's a beautiful dress. It certainly is, and she looked good in it. I think she looks really beautiful in it. Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> don't you apologise, Nana? Don't hate me, but I don't like it. I don't like the lace. The one thing she's always been adamant about is she doesn't want lace. I've just got an idea of lace and it makes me feel a little frumpy. I like lace, but... <laughs> <laughs> but then she thinks it's like Granny's curtains. <laughs> and I've not had curtains like that. <laughs> I've got blinds. <laughs> I think you've tried on so many different styles. I want this, I want that, I hate this. Yes. We've got to try and make this feel like your first ever bridal appointment. Yes. She hadn't even told him that she didn't want lace. So, no. And that has literally been the thing, hasn't it? Yeah. I am open to trying different ones because, like you say, it's my first time trying on dresses, so I don't know what I might like. <sighs> I think Gok's going to have his work cut out today. Claire has totally fallen in love with Dress 2, which is brilliant, but she does have a history of changing her mind. So I'm going to go to this third dress because it's my job to ensure that she makes the right decision. I am so sorry for doing this to you, but I don't want you in six months' time knocking on the door downstairs <laughs> saying, right, I've changed my mind. Yeah, I am a little worried that the next dress is going to be something that I am going to love even more. I think things might get a little bit more complicated when I see <laughs> this. One, two, three. Do you think, though, that Gok might have really saved the best till last? What? That's what's terrifying. <laughs> <sighs> I don't want to love it more than the other one. We might have done it. Hopefully, hopefully. But let's see what she's doing. But you know what? Downstairs. It could all go wrong again. Yeah. No, 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 it no, no, has done before. See. I actually felt sick when she I got upset. We're going to put that third dress on. It was, we didn't think anything could beat that, but there was something else that was totally different that changed my mind. I was like, what are we going to do now? Right, ladies, I am so, so sorry. Come on in. Sister. It's the same. <laughs> we went upstairs. I had another dress in mind, but the minute that Claire saw it, she said, no. It's the second one, so we thought, actually, do you know what? Sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes you just can't improve on perfection. So I was thrilled to see you in the dress again, because it meant that she was making the right decision and she yeah. knew what she wanted. So it leaves me a very important question to ask you. Claire, finally! <laughs> are you going to say yes to the dress? Oh, Brilliant. My name's Jennifer and I am a former Olympic gymnast from the London 2012 Olympics. I retired from elite gymnastics when I was 18. I'm now 25 and my very muscular body, it's completely transformed to a more curvaceous womanly figure. Right, which one's my gorgeous bride? Oh. Jennifer? <laughs> Hello, love. Congratulations. Thank you. You're getting married. Does it feel real? Yeah, it does now. How long have you been engaged? Well, we are high school sweethearts, but we've been engaged for about a year and a half. This is my fiancé, James. We met when we were 16, so we will have been dating nearly 10 years when we get married. So the first time I saw her was actually on the bus on the way to school. I did take a bit of fancy to you at that point. <laughs> 
We haven't had the easiest relationship because I was always training. So now living together is so much nicer, isn't it? We're very proud to be able to marry Jennifer. I'm just so thankful to be able to spend all the time I can with her. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> is there any other theme that's going on with the wedding at all? Gymnastics. <laughs> well, so I am a London 2012 Olympic gymnast. Oh, are you? oh congratulations. You're slightly starstruck, I, I have to say. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I've always wanted to be able to do a backflip. Well, maybe I, mean, I, I can barely it. walk, let alone do a backflip, <laughs> which is very depressing. No, we won't have any um, gymnastics equipment at the wedding, but I might throw in some splits or something to the first dance. So you're going to have a full acro routine going on <laughs> in the middle of the wedding. So obviously that's going to have a, an impact on the type of dress you choose then. The idea would be like, it fits my non-gymnastics curvy new body in the top half, but is free for me to move in the bottom half. Right, well, you've got the most incredible figure, yeah. beautifully petite, beautifully curvaceous, so that's not a problem at all. We've got to talk budget, so what's our ceiling? I'm happy to go to 1,500. We're going to do this. High five, that's what we do in sports. <laughs> I'm so butch. Right, you four are going to go and take a load off. You, my darling, are going to go to the changing room. I'm quite apprehensive. Um, I'm not too sure what she's going to have been putting. Uh, I'm hoping that it's not going to be too mature. Upstairs, you gasped, and it was like a big moment. You say this dress makes you feel quite sassy, mm. but what do you see when you look in the mirror? I, I can't stop looking at it, honestly. I, I didn't really realise that's what my figure could look like, so but I really like it. <laughs> Mum, what do you think? I'm quite surprised at the style of it. My just thought was that it is a very grown up, mature dress. It's the sort of dress you could see a, a, a lady in her 30s or 40s getting married in. But I think that's also one of the things I like about it. Yes. Yes. Because yes. I don't feel like you a little girl, like I feel it. like yeah. a woman right. getting married. I'm just not personally convinced that this is the best that Jennifer can look. It is a mature style and that's part of the reason why I like it is because it makes me feel older and instead of like a little girl trying on dresses. I think what we should do is probably stay within the space because we now know we don't want to cover up this figure. But I think we now maybe can temporise slightly and see what happens. It might not have been exactly what I was picturing in the first place but I'm thinking dress number one is going to be really difficult to beat. In a way, I'm hoping that they say either, no, I don't like it, go with the first one, or, oh, no, this one's actually much better, because um, that would make it easier for me, because right now I'm just liking both. Goodness. Mm. And a veil. And a veil. You look so, so beautiful. And for once, I don't want to be you, because I would never want to make this decision. But what do you think? Ah, uh, I'm... I don't, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I really, really loved the first one, but I do really like this one as well. I am completely torn and I need to hear my entourage's opinions. Mum? I prefer that one. I can't put my finger on exactly what it is I prefer about it. The top is illusion all over. And it's very cheeky, that line work under yeah. your bust. I mean, it's almost mimicking lingerie. Yeah, but is it too cheeky? tough, isn't it? Because I really loved the way the shape of the other one almost felt like it came in a bit more, but the way that that one sits, it's still exquisitely beautiful. You look younger. Yeah, definitely. Yes, it's a yes, fashion look. Yes, it is a younger it? dress, yeah. Shall I tell you what I think? <laughs> Please. I really love this dress on you, but I am missing a little bit of sass mm. from that first dress. Mm. The minute you put it on, the hips when, yeah. you know, we saw that part of your personality. Do you think that this dress has also got the ability to bring the sass out as well? It's a very good question, because I don't know if it was because of the dress or just because it was the first dress that I felt so good in the first one. Why don't we just go super sexy? Let's see how far we can go, and that yeah. might help you. I'm not quite sure what I think Doc's going to put her in this time. Just don't want it to be too over the top and to showing too much. It's been beautiful to see her 
shine really today, hasn't it? And almost feel herself becoming a bride. <laughs> I've never seen myself look like this before, so it just made me a bit speechless. Like, my jaw is on the floor because I never would have picked something like this. I mean, I feel like I can pull it off. You definitely <laughs> pull it off. What do you think? <laughs> Even though it's plunge, I don't think that is as revealing mm. as the second one. It's like yeah, a perfect beautiful. marriage of the first the two. The first two. It is. <laughs> She's glowing. She absolutely looks as if I'm a different Jennifer. This is me, this is who I am now, and it's wonderful. You can just see the way she's holding on to her Yes. Head. <laughs> I think she's just looked in the mirror and gone, oh my God, wow. I am a goddess. You, for the first time, are really looking at yourself as a grown woman who is sexy and powerful and strong and, you know, who can carry this dress off. He's about to get married and with the love of your life. It gives me confidence that it's not just me trying to be someone else, but this really is me and my body, and this could be the dress I walk down the aisle in. So, Jennifer, are you going to say yes to the dress? It's wonderful to hear Jennifer say yes to the dress. <laughs> she oozes confidence in this dress. Yeah, you look like one. You look like one. You look like one. I think it's, she's just a perfect one. Stunning. What will he say? This is my yes dress. It makes me feel more beautiful and sexy and mature than I thought was possible for me. My name is Jenny, and finding my wedding dress is literally the biggest pressure I have ever put on myself. <laughs> that's pretty. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's well I nice. like the yeah. detail when it comes down it's a bit. Gorgeous. I live and breathe weddings with my work. I've got um, a florist. Perfection is the biggest challenge that I'm setting myself today. I tend to think yeah. those type of dresses think, look better. Yes, I think definitely. so too, yeah. It's probably because of Mum, the way that I am, watching her when we were kids, when she'd always used to get yeah. dolled up and be dead glam. She was like Pamela Anderson picking us up from school, full <laughs> glitter. <laughs> glitter? No, yeah. bling, yes. I love fashion, I love to see oh, what's yeah. out there. Yeah, image is really important to our family, so yeah. we all try and look immaculate as much as we can. I'm just so confused. There's so many choices now. Jenny's got such a great eye for detail, and I think she absolutely strives for perfection. Yeah, she's definitely put a lot of pressure on herself. So. Hello! Hi! Hello, Jenny. How are, How are you? I haven't got congratulations. This is Michelle. Hi, Hi girls. Hi. How are you? Look at you lot. Are you a girl band? <laughs> Mum, look at you! <laughs> Why doesn't my mum look like that? <laughs> so, Jenny, congratulations. Thank you. You're getting much. married. We, yeah. When's it happening? <laughs> Next year. I met Sam online. Me and Jenny are completely suited. Like, it's crazy, really. We sort of coordinate our outfits. We love going shopping and yeah. showing each other what we're buying. Yeah, we get a bit of stick for being so coordinated, don't we, in the way yeah. we dress matchy, and matchy. stuff. Definitely <laughs> get a bit of stick for that. Literally, posh and bags. Yeah. <laughs> Both of you want to look like each other. Yeah, Sam will get in a mood if we go on a night out and he'll be like, we're not matching. She's literally found her perfect match in a man to do with clothes. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what you're looking for, Jenny? I need help, Cock. You need help. <laughs> OK, well, that's what we're here for. You must have a few ideas. I mean, just looking at you right now, you obviously know your style. I want it to be really glam, really, you know, different, unusual. So what would make a dress stand out and feel very unique? This is why I'm struggling, so I, I can't put my finger on it. I can't actually physically see it, so I think it's going to be really challenging. I would love to see her in bling. I just love bling. I'd love to see her in a ball gown. I think every mum wants ball. to see their baby in a ball just, gown. Just to see, really. So the type of dress that I had in my head was something quite figure-hugging. I don't think I'd suit, like, a big poofy ball gown. Talk to us about budget. What's your wonga? Right, Mother, what are we spending? Are then? you buying it? Well, <laughs> yeah, up to three. That's a really handsome budget. That's really, really good. good. I think what we need to do is just, just jump in at the deep end. OK. Excited, nervous. It's the first dress she's ever tried on. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, that is lovely. It's beautiful. It's very bling. It's beautiful. Yes. Very bling. My face says it all. I love the top, but no, I don't like the bottom. But you wanted it's to see the ball gown? Yeah, and I wanted to see it, really, from my own sort of, you know, to make my mind up, I think. I think the first dress is something that you you could get more or less anywhere. You've seen it, it before. That sort of style. It's not original enough. I do think it's a little too booby. Do you think? Me too. Uh, yeah, because it's pushing you up. Maybe something, like, flatter, you know, to, to make them come down a bit. You want the bust line to be lower? I don't want them sucking. That's the first time in 26 years I've ever heard <laughs> anyone wanting their boobs to be lower. <laughs> At least now we know that is not the style for Jenny. I have to agree. Let's go a bit slinkier, but I think we should probably go to town. Mm, I yeah. think let's have some fun with it now and play <laughs> around, yeah? So you ready for this? Yeah. It feels like you're waiting for Mum to approve? Yeah, 100%. I really want Mum to love the dress. She is my rock, my inspiration. She's so, so special. I'm so excited that Mum's going to be walking me down the aisle. I didn't know if Mum was going to be here for my wedding day. She, um, unfortunately, had a breast diagnosed with breast cancer. Right. Over 10 years ago now. She had all the treatment, she had to have um, her, her, her lump removed, um, and so, yeah, we're, we're just wow. so happy. So this is super important, then, isn't it? Yeah. Do you she's... think she'll like this dress? Yeah, I'd like to say I yes. I think she's going to love this. Yeah. I think this is right up Mum's alley. Yeah. What do you think? It's absolutely gorgeous. I do, I love it. So if I said to you Jenny was going to walk out that door and the aisle started just there, would you be happy for her to yes. continue and get married? Yeah. Amazing. You look amazing. But... I want you to try another one on first. Let's make sure we're 100% confident. Yeah? You trust me? I do. I don't think there's any way that Gok could beat that. No. Gok's really got to go, you know, the full, the hug. full hug this time to actually <laughs> beat that dress. On the count of three, one, two, three. Oh, that's pretty. I do like the top section. <laughs> Beautiful embellishment. What if she likes this one just as much as the second one? Well, then it has got to be yeah. her choice she's because she's the one who's got to <laughs> wear yes. it. There's always day and night. Yeah, always. exactly. But she would have yeah. to really think about which she might one be really she would torn. like. You yeah, never know. I know. It's got to be, I mean, the wow factor to beat two. We said that we were going to do another dress, and I would now like to see the gorgeous Jenny in, I think, the most perfect dress for her wedding day. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Nervous? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I take it you didn't like the other one. Correct. <laughs> but it leads me a very, very important question to ask you. Jenny, are you saying yes to the dress? I am saying yes to the dress. Yay! Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Oh, lovely lot. It's something that I've always wanted. The perfect dress. Oh, yeah. She's crying again. <laughs> yeah. This is your wedding dress. Oh, my God, I can't wait to wear it now. <laughs> I know Sam's absolutely going to love this dress. He's going to be amazing. My name's Kirsty. I am getting married in six months' time. 
I'm writing day out with the entourage. And whatever I choose to wear, it really has to break the mold. I really need to be different. I really want trousers. <laughs> but I do have a very clear vision in my head, and I think it will take a lot to wow me today. Oh, hello, 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 Kirsty. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> Gorgeous thing. How are you? Oh, good, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. So, how long have you been with your boy? Uh, just over five years. His name is Joe. People think I'm making Joe up because he's so handsome. <laughs> he's so genuine and so smart. He makes me a better person. He really does. First time we met, you shouted at me. Did I? Yeah. I was working in the school where Kirsty worked. I was preparing all the lab experiments um, for Kirsty, but I wasn't very good at it. I don't remember that. And I stayed clear of you for like three days after that. But then you spent a lot of time in the prep room, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I was making up excuses to go and ask him questions. I felt like it was love at first sight. He's the, basically the man of your dreams, and this is going to be is. the most incredible day of your life. It better be. What kind of budget are we talking about? Ceiling price, £3,500. OK, yes. so do you know what you're looking for? I've got a very, very um, strong vision, yes. OK. I want to wear trousers, I think. Oh, yeah. OK, that's a surprise. Mum, what do you think? Because you're kind of... I'm thinking that maybe you have a slightly different opinion here. I want her to look like a princess for the day. <laughs> I like the ball gown. I suppose I've seen her in ball gowns. I want to see her in a princess dress. But when she told me that she wanted to wear trousers, it just threw me off guard. I thought, trousers? I wouldn't feel right wearing anything else because of how strong my vision is and how confident I am in my own style. I'm not keen on those trousers. What is it about the trousers you don't like, Mum? The flary, the mummy of 1970s, John Travolta. The lace, because there's so much lace on her belly, it gives her a bit of a poochy belly, because you draw what? attention there. What the hell is a poochy <laughs> belly? A poochy belly, just like you've got like a little pouch. Mum is right. I do feel like I have a poochy belly in this jumpsuit. Thanks, Mum. There is more fat on a chopstick, Helen. <laughs> I think sexier. Maybe more skin. I think that what we do is let's move on, OK? Yeah. I think... I know what we're going to do. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> OK. I hope she'll come down in a dress. You're just and, desperate yeah. for her to be in a princess dress, yeah. aren't you? My mum's face, I can tell there's something wrong. I'm lost for words. And that makes my heart sink. I'm not sure about that leg hanging out like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's too high. It's too high? Too high. She'd be flashing her knickers and everything. I think the split is too high. <laughs> and you had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> For me, this screams bridal. It's yeah. the most elegant side of bridal. It's the most pared-back, demure side of bridal. But it's still bridal. I won't call it demure with all that leg showing. That makes me really sad. It makes me really sad because I really want her to like it. OK, well, you look absolutely incredible. But before we decide on this one, I think that what we need to do is try one more trouser look because that's what you came in wanting. Yeah. Happy with that? Yes. Good? Yes. <laughs> it was Definitely. quite stressful waiting because yeah. biting your fingernails and biting yeah. your toenails. No thinking, idea what she'll look oh, like. Oh, come on, biting your toenails. <laughs> Mum! <laughs> I can see Jen from Bobo's faces. 
They love it. My mum, on the other hand, is more difficult to read. I absolutely love it. As soon as I put it on, I felt really, really good. So spin around, let's talk to your family. OK. I absolutely love this one. This is exactly what I envisaged you wearing. Mum, you don't mince your words, so tell us what's inside your brain. I love the trousers. I love the skirt. I'm not sure about the top bit. We just had a discussion about how Helen did not want to see anything transparent, and then Kirsty walks out in exactly that. Is it a little bit naked for you? It is, yeah. It looks yeah. underwearish to me. I can see that I'm really going to have to fight my corner with this one. The last one had a deep V, and you didn't seem... You weren't like... Because she was focusing on the leg. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I really like this one. More so than the second one? <sighs> it's difficult, because I think she's happy in both. I feel so conflicted right now, because... I've got this one outfit, which is everything I want on paper, and then the other one, which is customised completely to me, fits my personality, and it's something totally unexpected. Kirsty, it's time that I ask you a very important question. Uh... Kirsty, are you saying yes? To the dress. I just need to trust my gut. In my heart of hearts, this is for me. Yeah, I think I'm saying yes to yes. yes. <laughs> the dress. Congratulations! You made the right decision. Oh, this is what she envisioned. This is the, the vision, the whole vision. Come on, jump up and give her a kiss and a cuddle. Oh, oh you do look beautiful, Kirsty. It is so Kirsty. it's completely up her street, and I'm so, so excited to see her on a wedding day. Thank you for everything, thank you for everything. Even though I haven't got the princess dress that I wanted for her, I'm still happy what she's chosen, because I like the fact that she's strong enough to have her own mind to know what she wants. I always knew trousers were right for me. I wear the trousers when it comes to my own style, and I'm gonna wear the trousers on my wedding day. My ideal dress is definitely a low plunge and low or no back, but I don't necessarily think that my parents will agree with it. Right then, Pickle. Auntie yeah. Gok is delivering the first <laughs> dress. So, you wanted boho. You wanted floaty. You love lace. This, basically, is every single thing that you want out of a dress. I can tell my eyes are lighting up. How do we feel about the plunge? Fine, yeah. Yeah? Brilliant. What do you think Mum's going to say? Um, she's going to be worried that the boobs are out. Why is Mum so averse to the low plunge and the backless and everything else? Uh, she's from the Mormon religion. Um, oh, so right, OK. Very, very conservative, very covered up. And can I ask, are you, are you part of the Mormon church? No, no. Right. I left when I was 18. Was it difficult to tell Mum that you were leaving? Yeah, yeah, we had a bit of, bit of, bit of a fallout. OK. Um, but uh, it's fine now. I mean, I wouldn't have met Ross if right. I didn't leave. Julie was disappointed. Obviously, her child had turned away from the faith that Julie's so fond of. I hope today would bring them closer together and to give Celise her mum's approval. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to cry. I love this. I've never seen myself like this. The dress is, I think, going against the Mormon beliefs. It's very exposing and very re revealing. It makes me a little bit scared, a little bit apprehensive, but at the same time, I just want to be me. So how do you think Mum and the church are going to feel about their baby girl dressed like this? It's hard to tell. Mum, I can't gauge this. I'm trying to read your face because oh, yeah. there's big smiles all round, but there's a little less from you. It's not hitting me. It's not hitting you? OK. No. 
when Mum said that the dress wasn't hitting her, she wasn't feeling it, it made me feel a bit vulnerable. It wasn't my Celise. I'm hoping that they can be better. How do you feel about the plunge and about the back on show? I haven't seen the back, but the plunge I'm OK with. Yeah. OK, do you want to see the back? Yeah, I'd love to see the back. spin round. <laughs> I'm fine with it showing a bit of back. Yeah. You know, but not to the point where you couldn't put a bra on. Dad, what are we thinking? I think that is a beautiful gown for a very, very beautiful young woman. Oh. I think you've got it spot on, Doc, I think. That's really spot on. Oh. I don't like it. I'm not feeling this dress at all. I just wanted it to be higher up. I do think that we should try and push it a little bit further. Let's look and see if we need to add a little bit more sparkle, a little bit more twinkle. Yeah. No Happy? Yeah, absolutely, okay. 100%. Right. Let's do the second. Come on, then. <laughs> OK. I think it's perfect. Do you? I feel like just saying next. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your second dress. Gorgeous, feminine, beautiful lace on there. It does have an illusion panel up here, so you're going to feel slightly more covered. Yeah. The lace work onto the waist, it kind of peters down into the dress. As you can see, there's a lot more skirt. You step into here. It looks a little bit heavy, so I don't know if this is going to look right on me. On the count of three, you can open your eyes. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. I was not expecting that. Is it doing much for you? No. No? No. It just felt like I was wearing somebody else's dress. It's not, you know, it's not boho enough. It was just too conservative, and it wasn't showing my personality. I wasn't happy. <laughs> And do you think Mum will like it? Yeah, Mum will love it. Um, everything is to her standard, so it's very right. modest. Modest Molly is something that is often used in the Mormon faith. It's quite a conservative dress sense, um, and this dress is definitely Modest Molly. So you seem quite upset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable in this. Right. I feel like this would be my Mum's perfect dress for me. But if you don't feel comfortable, we don't go downstairs. I think she needs to see it. Mum, you've got tears in your eyes. I have. Do you like it? You don't. <laughs> Seeing my mum cry was a little bit heartbreaking because I knew in my head I didn't like this dress. Even though she's crying, it's not me. I feel like this is Modest Molly. I didn't feel like me anymore. Yeah. I felt like a little girl rather than a bride. OK. Mum, is that a shock to hear? Yeah. I saw a woman for the first time with Celise. But then I saw how sad Celise looked in it. And that was it, really. I couldn't love it anymore. It's her day. Yeah. It's her dress. Whether I like it or not, it doesn't matter. If Celise doesn't like it, then it has to be a, a no. I definitely thought that took a lot for my mum to do, putting her views aside and just thinking about me. It was really comforting. We have a dress here that is absolutely the epitome of what I think boho is. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Oh, hello. Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? At this point, dress one had already set such a high bar. I didn't know it was going to beat that. What do you think? I really like that. I wouldn't have chosen it off the shelf myself, but I am willing to try anything. Whoa. Flip it. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. I was not expecting to be put in this at all. It is so out there, but it's still very me. It just looks like it was made for me. It was definitely one of a kind. I love it. I'd love to, this to be something of a wow for her. Yeah. I would know if Celise walks in with her dream dress. I think it's her smile on her face. This dress is definitely not a modest Molly. It's me. It's Celise. Oh, wow. Oh. 
<laughs> when I saw my mum overwhelmed, it was just really, really nice. It was just a moment of acceptance, which is, at the end of the day, what I wanted. Mum? Yes? Like a walnut, have we cracked you? Oh, perfect. You happy? Yes, very. Oh, that is silly. I just thought, wow, he'd done it. It was there in that dress. She's shone. Is it modest enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> it's silly. It's silly. Okay. It's silly. I will take that. Yeah. Right then, Gemma. Yes. You have your first dress, and guess what? Ah, <laughs> shock. So. Obviously, you chose this dress with the girls downstairs. I've seen this dress on and it looks incredible. Okay. But whether or not it's bridal enough okay, yeah. is a completely different matter. I dress neck to toe in black every day, at least six days a week. You through? Yes. OK, Gemma, right behind me, I can't even look down, we have a pair of bright blue shoes <laughs> with bows on. These shoes are not going to go with this dress. I know. Just okay. take them away. Just do it quick. OK, I've do had a quick. shoe calling. That's going to go. I'm going to get you some <laughs> shoes. Gok took my shoes away. Like, that's the only thing I've been sure of of my wedding, and then he took them away. Oh, my actual gosh. So I'm out of my comfort zone, but uh, I, I love it. It just feels pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and do you feel pretty on a day-to-day -day basis? No. No. Right, sis, what are we thinking? I love it. I love the back on it and the shape, and it looks stunning on you. You look beautiful. You look absolutely stunning. I think, I think this is the dress. Oh. There we go. Oh, wow. Rach is saying yes to the dress. <laughs> Mum, what do you think? It's so clingy that you really do need to make sure you go to the... Stay, stay like you are at the moment. You can't afford to put any weight on with that dress. <laughs> Don't hold back, Hush. <laughs> Still got half a stone to go to get to my target, Mum. She is abiding by the over 70 rule in that when you get to 70, you can say what you want. Sue has no boundaries. But still. <laughs> it looks wonderful, but really, it is so clingy that you can't afford to put any weight on at all. My mum is brutal. She was probably horrible about it. So, number one, you look phenomenal. And if you want to go and eat a couple of takeaways, then I won't tell mum. <laughs> I think, however, though, what we need to do now is we need to go a little bit more bridal. I, I think you can still have your personality. You excited? Super. Wonderful. Let's go, then. Right then, Gemma. Oh. We've got your next dress. So, first of all... Mm -hmm. The long plunge. Yeah. We've obviously got all the beautiful crystal work, OK? Yeah. But it's not too much. That's a of it. I feel like I totally trust what Gok will do, but this dress is not at all what I had thought of. But on the count of three, you can open your eyes and see yourself as a bride. <laughs> Are ready? Yeah. One. Two. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> OK. Three. Well, that is something else. I think it looks good, but it's so outside of my comfort zone. I don't know yet. I need to wear it a bit longer. So you look like a rock and roll model in a magazine, is what I would say. <laughs> I'm just hoping for a real contrast with the last one. Yeah, something completely Everything different. Everything that the last one wasn't. So unexpected. Unexpectedly beautiful. Doesn't she look incredible? Absolutely. I don't know how you've done it. It is the sort of one you would go wow at. Coming down the stairs in that, you'd go, <gasps> oh, it <twitch, laughs> takes your breath away. And, uh, oh, the, your whole chest area. <laughs> great. It's amazing. You can say knockers. <laughs> You're around not friends. got great boobs. I've never seen them like this. <laughs> <laughs> Funny that. <laughs> what, in her dog colour? <laughs> never. Gemma, what do you think? I can't wait to get it off. It's digging in. It hurts me. I feel like 
a Dalek. Wow. <laughs> Honestly. Do you know what, Jammer? Don't sit on the fence it's here now. <laughs> Say what you think. Honestly, like the shape of it, I feel like a Dalek. A hundred percent not. <laughs> um. Oh, my actual. I totally knew the moment that I opened my eyes. I just knew. Hey? I love it. You love it? <laughs> I absolutely it. love it. I love it. I just, I could not stop laughing when I saw it. I was just so delighted and astonished and just full of joy. Absolutely. I just, I love it. How do you dress a vicar for her wedding day? Well, ding, ding, ding. I absolutely love it. Got. I know you don't want me to wear the blue shoes. But I'm putting them on anyway. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> Look at... Oh. Like, it is unbelievable. I you am are, feisty. You are turning those shoulders in, you are grabbing your waist, you are smiling. Is it all to do with this dress? I feel cool and sexy, but also, like, cute and beautiful and, um, just... <laughs> 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 I feel amazing. Good. You look incredible. So, Mum, when's the last <laughs> time you saw Gemma so happy with how she looked? <laughs> Never. 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 How it, are we feeling, sis? It's just beautiful. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the one. Rachel? I've seen you cry lots of times before. <laughs> I'm and I am so happy to see you crying with happiness. Mm. You look just stunning. Jess? I was waiting for that wow, and now that was all I could say. <laughs> all I could say was wow. So then, you gorgeous thing, you rock and roll bride, it leaves me a very important question to ask you. <laughs> Gemma? <laughs> Are you saying yes to the dress? Yes. Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> well oh. I cannot imagine how any other dress could be better suited to who she is. Utterly perfect. This is just weeping. I can't wait to see Craig's face. He's going to totally love it. When he sees me in the dress, if he doesn't cry, I'm going to poke him in the eye until he does. No. <laughs> Go on, wow. Oh my goodness! I love that. Oh. I, I that is gorgeous. My name's Nikki. I can't imagine saying yes to a dress if I'm honest. It's very rare I find anything I ever love on me. <gasps> I like that. I don't know if I like it on me. If I'm honest, I went wedding dress shopping just one day. Two shops. 15 dresses. This is an absolute nightmare. Nikki, what is it exactly that you want? In life or just dresses or...? Both. Let's go dresses. for it. <laughs> Hello! Hi. Hello, Hi. Nikki. Hi. Nice Hi. to nice look nice at you. you. Hello, gorgeous. I'm Gok. How are you? I'm um, lovely. Thanks. Amazing. Congratulations, you're getting married. Thanks. Are we nervous, excited? Mind. Both. Are you all very excited? Yes. Very. You all look absolutely terrified, <laughs> I have to say. You are... <laughs> You're standing there. You literally You've all got PTSD from the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, explain. What was it like? 15 in a day. 15 dresses? Yes. That's a lot of dresses. And you still didn't find one you liked? No, I cried a lot. I'm searching for the perfect thing, and then I put it on me, and then I'm like, oh, I actually don't like it. Tell me about your boy, then. So he's got the same name. Makes it really easy. His name's Nicky. 
First time I saw her was in a pub. Looked at her and thought, yeah, not seen her before. I like her. I knew Nicky was the one, not a minute really. The best way I can explain it, I'm home. In his arms, I'm home. What I love about Nicky, one of the biggest things is he's turned me into the guy that I am today. Ah, um, ah that's really sweet. Do you know what your style is and do you know what you want to present on this wedding day? Oh, I'm not 100%. Okay, do we want a big ball gown? Do Don't we want a big think princess? so, no. I think straight. Okay. I think fish tail. Okay, something that shows your bum off, shows your waist off, body con, and then flares out the bottom for loads of performance and drama. Yeah. Yeah. How much you got to spend? What's your dollar? What's your cash? Okay, under five grand, I said. Playtime! Five grand? Under, yeah. I'm just going to ring my mum on my Ding grand. <laughs> If we go Fine. above it, I'll just ring them. I love the design of the dress. I think I just didn't like it on me. How do you feel? Eh, I think I don't mind it up here. I think it's, like, everywhere. Right. OK. But I could just look up. <laughs> but we're not going to do that, because you're going to fall 100% in love with a dress, OK? Yeah. Right. If I don't find a dress, um, there will be no wedding. So it's very clear to see this dress looks beautiful on you. I think, you know, stunning. Martin, how are we feeling about the frock? We look, I love the, the way it drops at the front, very nicky. I'm loving it, to be fair. I really, really like it. I think it's absolutely stunning on her. Is it nice to hear these positive comments? Yeah. Are yeah you, do you believe Thanks, us, guys. though? Yeah. <laughs> do you believe them? Yeah. When people give me compliments, I can't really take it on board if I'm honest, because this outweighs everything. Well, we've got your next one, but this oh. time we've decided to pull it back slightly because you didn't want the amount of sparkle. What do you think? Oh, I'm not sure. I just thought it was horrendous. You know, when you've washed something too many times and it's white and it's got, like, this really weird colour. Do you think it's because we're showing you the dresses before you put them on? You've already made your mind up that actually you're not sure about this one? Yeah. Is that what we've done? Yeah, I instantly do that. You need not to be You've seen looked it. for a reason not to like it. Yeah. Okay, so we've kind of missed a trick by showing you this now. <laughs> so let's try and pretend you've not looked at yeah. the dress and go fresh in. Yeah. Yeah? It looks like a different colour than before. I was stunned how it really did, you know, match well with my skin tone and it suited me so much better than the lighter ones. I was I was flabbergasted by that, to be fair. Oh, I quite like it. <laughs> When you try to get her to believe in herself, I mean, you talk head, brick wall. You look sensational. But how do you feel? I think I'm panicking because I feel like deja vu. Go on, like, talk to me. Like, that, I, that I'm not going to... Oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh, honest, I, I swore I won't cry, you know. <laughs> just, just when you just think, I don't know. Martin, you first. I love it. There's nothing to change. Really? Honestly, love it. I feel exactly the same, yeah. I thought I loved the last one, but I really, really love this one. Really? Stunning. You're stunning. Yeah. It's gorgeous, every part of it. Yeah. I'm hoping I'll feel more comfortable with it, more toned down. It's about you owning the dress. And you also keep on saying about having something plainer, having something plainer. Um, so I think we'll do that. We'll deliver. You ready for this? Yeah. What do you think? One, two, three. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I say I like it, I like it. <laughs> It's just nerves, and sometimes it's the only thing that can come out of my mouth. I really like it. <laughs> That's a good word for me, isn't it? And it's non-commitment. <laughs> I think the plainness I want, I don't feel it's in your face. OK. I think that this is really safe, and I think you're taking the safe option. Can I try one more dress? And if yeah. you want to go back here, yeah. you can do, but I've got a dress in mind, and, I, and we're not going to show it to you. Cool. Right, get that dress off. Oh, it's nice. 
Nice. <laughs> I'm really good at this nice, <laughs> aren't I? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little bit taken back now, I think. You look excited. I love it. I do. You, you love, love it? it. I, yeah, you I love it. it. I did. You just said it. You just said it. <laughs> I just said it. Oh, I do. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, You're right. I can't go safe. This is mommy. I can imagine walking down the aisle in this dress. It's a good mixture of my safe with my wow, and yeah, it just feels like it was for me. So, Nikki, how do you feel about the dress? I love it. I love it. I mean, look at the back. It's dead nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? I feel nice in it. I feel happy in it. I'm in my little happy place. So, Martin, what do you think? <sighs> There's no words. It's beautiful. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, good cry is that way. <laughs> Divine. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I can tell how she's acting that it's absolutely perfect for her. So it leads me a very, very important question to ask you. Nikki, are you saying yes to the dress? Yeah. <laughs> My name's Lisa. Today I want to find a dress that hasn't been worn before. Wow. <laughs> I just want to be unique. This is amazing it's though, huge, isn't it? It's isn't it? Yeah. I've brought with me to the boutique my mum, Anne. Oh, look at these. This is just... <gasps> you look like Barbie in that. And my two bridesmaids, Natalie and Leah. What do you think of that one? Fitted? Fitted. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like to go on social media and I've seen a lot of brides and I want to be different to all of them. Hello! Hi. Hello, 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 <laughs> Lisa. Hey, gorgeous. Oh, you are... Yeah. Look at you, you little <laughs> tiny thing. Now, something strikes me, you're quite young. Yeah. Are you old enough to get married? Yeah, I'm older than I look. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 23. And what's his name? Adam. Adam, and yeah. what's he like as a person? Oh, well, just amazing, he really is. I was 21 when I met Adam. He was 17. We were going to work abroad to go to Zanzi, weren't we? Yeah, and that never happened, did it? No. Um... <laughs> Three months after we started seeing each other, I found out I was pregnant. We didn't expect our little Lucas to come along that quickly, did we? No. Um, I think it kind of just happened, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody thought it was going to last, but it did work out for the best. It really did. Have you got anything in mind? Bigger the better. Uh, Good. Glitz, bling. Glitz, poofy. bling. You're like a unicorn has yeah. thrown up on a bit of cloth. Yeah. Am I see it? Look at your face, light yeah. up then. Yes. I think that you should look like a princess on your wedding day. Bling, glitter, everything that's just in a fairy tale wedding, really. My daughter is going to have the wedding of the century. I'm hoping, anyway. Leah, you were shaking your head when we said princess gown. Yeah, I'm... Um, what are we thinking, gorgeous? I, I'd prefer something a little more fitted. Leah's very vocal and says it how it is. Show off her figure and basically <laughs> give her the sophisticated look. I certainly will tell Lisa if I think that the dress is not right for her. And what kind of budget are we thinking, Lisa? Um, I'd say 2000 but right. I can stretch to 2500 OK. Right then, Lisa, we have your first wedding dress. Yeah. <laughs> so, controversially, we've kind of gone slightly against your grain. Okay. So you wanted a big princess dress, it's not. You might yeah. put the dress on and go, oh my God, I love my figure in this dress. Yeah. So what's your initial thoughts? The first dress just isn't me. That doesn't look, no. The foil. I'm not feeling that one. <laughs> not feeling it at all? No, okay. no. I think we should try it on, though. Yeah. Let's yeah. try it on and see what we think. Definitely, right. yeah. OK, let's yeah. whack it on, then. So, but let's have a little look and see what you think. On the count of three, you can open your eyes. Sorry. I opened my eyes a bit early, though. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> you can look now, if you like, <laughs> if you can't wait. Gosh, it does look amazing, doesn't it? 
I never thought I'd see myself in that at all. And look at the train. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Do you think the guys downstairs will like it? Leah will be made up because she wants this for me. <laughs> I actually really like it. I'm really shocked that I do like it, because when it was on the hanger, I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it fits her absolutely beautiful, and the flow of the dress is gorgeous, but it's not quite the one. I love the colour. I love the shape. I don't like the shiny foil on it. You have got the most incredible figure that actually could wear any single one of these dresses and pull it off. It's nice, but it's not enough to sway me away from Princess. So here we have, I think, one of the most gorgeous gowns. Tiny little flowers all put together, clustered around the bustier and then creeping down the dress. I do like it. Um, I'm not so sure about all the lace. Oh, right. Like, you know, the detail. OK. It's not blingy enough and I don't like the lace on it. Should we try it on? Yeah. And see yeah. what we think? All yeah. right, let's whack it on. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, yeah, that is beautiful. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. <laughs> it it looks look different. totally different, doesn't it, on? I am excited about showing this dress to my friends and family, but Leah won't like this dress, I don't think, at all. If it doesn't suit, I'll tell her. I'm that kind of person. Straight out up with it. Wow, this is a statement dress. Oh, yeah, that is beautiful. I really like it, but I do want a bigger train. Other okay. than that, I do love it. <laughs> OK, so if it was a longer yeah. at the back, then you think that this would be in the right territory? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Let's find out what Mum thinks. Beautiful. It is. Leah, not happy? I'm not. Go on, tell us why. It is a nice dress. I, I just think that the other fit was a lot nicer. Leah's got to remember, it is my dress, not hers. We have got the most gorgeous gown to show you. All this beautiful crystal work up here. Yeah. The low V just there and the full on skirt with no lace but covered in sparkles. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can't get any more princessy than that, can you? When I saw the dress on the hanger, it didn't look anything to me, but then when I had it on, it was just magical. You're tearing <laughs> up! <laughs> <laughs> that is gorgeous. Oh. oh, yeah. I just looked into her eyes and I was feeling so emotional and she's looking back at me, feeling the same. So, Lisa, I'm assuming these are tears of joy. Yeah. It's just so... It's everything. It is perfect. Elegant. Very elegant. It's beautiful. It's timeless. It's absolutely timeless. And she just... She rocks it. Is this the dress that goes into the wedding of the century? Yes, I think it is. It's so classy. Like, it's just so nice. And the way you look in it, the way you're holding yourself, you look lovely. She's won me. <gasps> really? It's you. Do you feel like you could walk out that door and get married right now? Definitely. <laughs> then it leaves me a very important question to ask you. Lisa, are you saying yes to the dress? Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Steph. Wow. I'm getting married in a year's time, and I've lost so much weight that I'm just really nervous about finding a dress that suits my figure. It's gorgeous. There's just so many nice ones. And I want to feel slim, I want to feel sexy, I want to feel gorgeous, and I want to feel like a bride, but I'm just worried that that might not happen. Is there any point, Stephanie, in losing all this weight if you're not going to actually try a fishtail on? I've managed to lose six stone. 
but I still feel like I have a long way to go in terms of body confidence. I just don't really feel like I want to wear something fitted. I'm trying why? to get why? away from yeah, but why? <laughs> it being so figure-hugging for me. Because she's so self-conscious of how she looks, Steph is very nervous about trying dresses on today. I'm just so used to wearing my uniform all the time. Oh, that uniform. Being a paramedic for me is more than just a job, but being covered in all sorts, from blood to mud, it's not the most glamorous. How good will it be to see you in a dress like this? <laughs> and not <laughs> in your greens. <laughs> I would like Steph to leave the ambulance behind today, the baggy green uniform, Today is her day to look and feel like a princess. Hello! Hi! Steph. Yes! Hello, Steph. Hello. Doc, nice to meet you. Nice how to are meet you? you? I'm good, how are good, you? Good, good, thank you. When are you getting married, Steph? Next year. We're the Half Races Motorbikes. Oh, nice. So Lovely. we're just what? finding the just right we're finding the right time to get married in between all of that. And what's his name? Sean. Sean. OK, and when did you meet Sean? Uh, I met him at a track day. I was training to be a paramedic at this point, and Sean came over to the sign and in desk where I was, like all suave. It was like, Sean, fast group. And I was like, he is so arrogant. But then when he walked away, I was like, well, you know, he was nice. So I did a bit of stalking on social media. And it kind of just went from there. Didn't went it? from there. I'm very soppy, but I kind of, I, I just love you. <laughs> <laughs> A new lot. Have you got an idea what Steph should wear to the wedding? I preferred something a bit more fitted because she's lost six stones. Right. I think wow. she needs Congratulations. to Thank show you. that off. So when you look at this picture now, what do you think? Do you still see this when you look in the mirror? Yeah, absolutely. Because I've not obviously tried anything fitted on. Um, I think it's just going to be overcoming that fear. Right. It's the fear factor of okay. putting one on. I had so much more confidence when I was bigger. Yeah. Which is crazy because I thought it would go the opposite way. I thought that yeah. I would have more now that I've lost the weight. Right. And I think half of it is like a mental battle trying yeah. to see past how I used to look. Exactly the same. Well, I was 10 stone heavier, and so I know exactly what you're talking about. And how much you got to spend? Ideally between 1500 to £2,000. OK, is that our absolute ceiling, 2000 If I find a dress that absolutely wows me, then I'm willing to go beyond that. But it's and... got to be amazing. So when you say beyond that, what are we talking? Five hundred pound. So two, so two five is our absolute top ceiling budget. Yeah. I think we'll know when Steph walks in when she's found the dress. I think she'll have the biggest smile on her face. She might be quite emotional. Oh, oh my gosh, oh. Steph! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> the minute she came in the room with that dress on, you could see this was her world. Stephanie was a princess. Hmm. As soon as I put it on and I saw it, I, I got that connection with it and I just think it is so me. And are you worried about tummy area, hips or anything? Not even thinking about it? No, nope, not even thinking about it. I'm just thinking about walking down the aisle, seeing Sean, and I can see myself wearing this dress. Do you want to try a veil on with this dress? Yes, please. <laughs> oh. I can't even look at you. <laughs> it's just stunning, Steph. We knew that when you walked in and you had the right one on, you'd feel emotional, you'd feel confident, and you'd have the confidence in us to make us cry and go, <laughs> wow, and you've done that, you've done that. It is stunning. So this dress is by Martina Liana, and the dress retails at £2,499. OK. So you're right at your ceiling. Mm-hmm. I've fallen in love with this dress. It's at the top end of my budget. What am I going to do? Can I find another dress that makes me feel as good as this dress? I had a feeling when I put it on that it was going to be over budget. I've got one more dress in my mind that I want to see you in. Is that OK? Yep. 
Everybody tells me that I'm looking great in these dresses. Initially, I thought they were just saying it to make me feel good, but I now am starting to believe them. I think you look sensational, but what do you think? I really like it. Um, I think it's completely different to the other one. I think the bust looks really good and the back is stunning. There's quite a lot of boob on show. Are we yeah. comfortable with that? I am. I just don't know if my mum will be. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful dress. But for me, number two wowed me so much and reduced me to tears. Unfortunately, this one hasn't. Yep. I think it's going to be a tough decision to make. I okay. do really like this. OK, so let's find out how much this beautiful, beautiful dress is. So this dress is by Justin Alexander and is £1,595. OK. So, we're talking £900 below the price of the second dress. Yeah. I think I'm going to have some time to think about it. And when I do, the next dress that I put on, I think, will be my yes dress. So, ladies, like Steph said, the next dress she puts on will be the dress that she gets married in. Coming out <laughs> right decision, Mum? Absolutely. Right decision, Grandma? Absolutely perfect. Bex? Absolutely, yeah. I can imagine myself walking down the aisle in this dress. It's everything I'm about. It's fun, it's feisty, it's sparkly. My name's Esther. I'm no good at clothes shopping, so I'm not really sure how easy it's going to be to find my wedding dress. I'm not sure. Remember well, it, you can try because it that's the thing, I need to try it on. I run a full livery yard, which is where people keep their horses. So clothes and fashion is not high in my pecking order at all. It's usually wellies, coats, jobbers, riding hat. Oh, I don't like that sort of lace. My entourage today is my mum, Cherry, um, my auntie, Angie, sister, Freya, and also my younger sister, Enya. Enya's picking the best one. I know. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello, Esther. I'm Esther. Hello, Esther. Hello God. Hello. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. You. It's very exciting. How are you all? Good, thank Hi. you. So yeah. What? Exciting. It's very exciting, isn't I'm it? Nervous. Nervous. Yeah. Why? I've not tried any wedding dresses on at Ever. all. Never. Have you had that moment where you've thought, right, I'm going to go out wedding dress shopping, and then you put it off and you've gone to the pub instead? Yeah. You've done that. <laughs> I can or tell. Riding horses instead. Yeah. Right, riding <laughs> horses? Yeah. Right, OK, is that a hobby? No, that's that a my job? job. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. But usually it's wellies, riding hat, coat. And so the idea then of putting on a glamorous, beautiful wedding dress, what does that do to your sensibilities? I'm open to try, so it's not like I'm going, oh, I don't want to. I'm not thinking I want princess. I've, right. I wanted more fitted to show off my bum. <laughs> right, OK, so bum's a good part. Yeah. Shoulders is a not a good part. Not a bad part, just a okay. broader part. Um, tell us about the fella. Uh, so, Kevin, I met him, it'll be nearly nine years ago now. Kevin would probably describe that he is bottom of the pecking order, saying the horse comes first, then the dog, and then him. For me, it's not Kevin's at the top, but trying to get him to believe that sometimes is hard work. <laughs> I knew Kevin was the one. I think the longer we're together, the more that bond just grows, and it, he's just perfect for me. What do you think, guys? What do you think that our gorgeous Esther should be wearing? I've always imagined her in something very sleek mm. uh, and fitted. 
Mum, what do you think? I quite like this dress over here. So you're saying very fitted then, very fitted. I quite like a little bit of detail going on around the neck. Mm. Um, we like a bit of a thicker strap. It's very interesting, isn't it? Because we're hearing a lot of we thinks and this is what we've seen. But ultimately, it's your choice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And what about budget? We were looking around 3,000. 3,000. Very good. OK. I'm looking forward to the family seeing it to try and get a bit of feedback from them, what they do and don't like about it. I'm not even crying, but they're making me cry. <laughs> <laughs> you look so nice. Stunning. I, I do feel like this dress isn't the yeah. dress. So I think let's go for something slightly more subtle and see whether we miss the volume. Let's see whether we miss the sparkle. Let's see whether we miss all of the details going on. I think you might be slightly surprised. I'm feeling more confident about walking down in this dress. I do feel it's a little bit more me. But I'm not sure with the entourage that we're all going to be on exactly the same page of what we like and what we want. Nice. So you've had a good look then, girls. Mm -hmm. Mum, let's start with you. What are we thinking? I do. I like it much more than the other one. I don't know why, it just sort of seems a bit more finished than the other one. And I know you weren't too keen on having short, thin straps, but personally, I much prefer those straps. I think that this is a little bit too revealing. One thing that I don't like about it is it's just been cut off at the bottom. OK. There's something that's not quite... I don't like quite as much. It could be the boob area, but I much prefer the bottom part, much prefer that. Um, I like the straps and I love the back. So let's park this one for the moment. We're not going to forget about this no. one. But let's try something completely different mm -hmm. to see what that does to all of us, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Happy? Happy. Happy. Yeah. I'm starting to wonder if it's going to be possible to find the right dress. Myself and my entourage's opinions are all quite different. I'm not sure if that's going to happen today. Let us not forget that before Kevin, I don't think you'd have had the confidence to wear that dress and to own it. And we think we should embrace the fact that you're actually going, I feel really good in this. Mm. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Right, come with us then. I'm feeling really quite nervous and a little bit shaky because I just really want the entourage to like it as much as I do. I'd really love Esther to get some confidence from today and be like, yes, I love this dress, this is what I like, this is what I want. Um, and obviously just to find the perfect one. So, Esther, do you feel beautiful in this dress? I'm a bit shaky. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm so glad you said that because you look so beautiful and so glamorous and your body looks amazing. <laughs> so, Mum, we're going to start with you. I just think it's amazing. Yeah, it's really lovely. This dress will make people go... Wow, and it isn't what I expected to see Esther in. <laughs> Ask her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing she can speak. Come on, Ange. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Yes. Stunning is the word. You wanted glamorous. We got glamorous. You wanted beautiful. We got beautiful. You wanted confident. Yes, indeed. It's the kind of dress, when you come in with your dad, everybody will go, <gasps> Do you imagine yourself getting married looking like this? Yeah. I have watched you go from someone quite shy at the beginning of today, who spends their life mucking out horses, <laughs> covered in horse poo, to somebody who is uber glamorous, super confident, owning their body. So, Esther, I'm going to ask you a very important question. Yeah. Are you saying yes to the dress? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I did not know we were going to get that. <laughs> I'm really glad that Esther was really the final decision maker and came out and was like, look, I love this dress. Oh, yeah, amazing. amazing.
She was so nervous and so unsure of what she wanted and got really kind of helped bring out her confidence. So <laughs> I'm really excited to see Esther just enjoying herself and I think that dress is gonna make, make her feel that way. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of myself today for owning my own opinion. It's a really good feeling to think that I've had a big impact on and input on this dress. When Kevin sees me in this dress, I'm thinking he's going to like the fit. I think it shows off the best parts of me. My dress has to be worthy of a leading lady on stage. This is like Chicago. I've worked in theatre and I've tried on a costume and I've felt amazing in it, and I want to get that same feeling from my wedding dress. I just want to, like, try them all on. Put them all <laughs> on, yeah. So today I've brought with me my mum, Helen. That's fab. Today I'll feel emotional about everything. <laughs> I'll be a wreck. My grandma, Joan. What does bling mean? Like sparkles. I've never heard that expression Diving. before. And my sister, Mari. Hello. Hello. Look Hi. at you, you glamorous Hello. thing. Nice oh, how are you? Hi, Natalie. Yeah. I'm Gork. Nice to meet you. This is Bernie. Hi. Nice Hello, to meet ladies. You. Hi. Hello. How are you? Nice Hi. to meet you. Have you tried any dresses on before today? No. So this is your not. first bridal experience. Yes. Tell me about the fiance. We actually attended the same dance school together when we were younger. He didn't really know that I existed, <laughs> and I had like a, a a really big crush on him. Then we officially met two years ago, didn't we? Yes. Just watching her perform was epic. It, she was just so talented. I got goosebumps when you were singing, and I was just staring at you the whole way through, and I was just like, she's amazing. Like, I think I'm in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> and have you thought about what you want to wear, your costume <laughs> for your biggest performance of your life? I would like it fitted up top, obviously. Yeah, Don't want anything waist. too tight here or the bottom. You're very aware of that part of your body, then? Our family have been blessed with hips <laughs> and bottoms. <laughs> I have some areas on my body that I'm not too confident about. What can you see your daughter in? Uh, something fitted. How do we feel about fitted? I know, I'm not keen on <laughs> fitted. <laughs> OK. I don't like to see her doubt herself. But performing and drama and theatre, people judge on how you look. Um, so that's been a huge pressure for her. So what's our budget? 1500 Is that our absolutely ceiling, 100%? We can't go any further than fifteen. The happy ever after dress. Yeah. Then, then there would be leeway. Helen, you look a little bit teary. My baby's getting married, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. If we find the dress, it'll just be perfect. It'll be relief. She is a unique person, and I want her to look amazing. I'm nervous. I'm nervous for her. Oh, <laughs> Natalie! Oh, my God. <laughs> Mum's gone. <laughs> Mum's gone. Speechless. <laughs> it suddenly hit me. I'm very overwhelmed with it all. So, Natalie, my darling, your first ever wedding dress, it's very simple. Yes. But I think very elegant and very romantic. But how do you feel? I like the thin straps. I don't like how much my boobs are out. Yeah. Let's spin you round. Let's talk to your family. Mum. You look gorgeous in anything, but um, it's not sparkly enough. It's a bit too plain. The bodice is nice, um, not fabulous, but nice. Uh, I, was curious, I think it looks a bit like underwear. I don't like the top bit. I think it's too booby. Mm -hmm. Not that it looks bad, but I just don't think you're a booby person. I can see she's not comfortable. I can see there's something missing. It's too plain. OK, so here's my thoughts. I think we're missing about 30% of, of performance and drama and theatre. I think we just ramp up the bling. Yes. We're not going to get anywhere if she doesn't feel nice in anything.
talk us through where we are. Where are you with your confidence with this dress? Um, a five, I think. A five, yeah. right in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Let's spin you around, let's talk to your family. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's majestic, you just look, you just look beautiful. I love it. I like the drop of it. I do, Aunt Natalie, I really, really like it. It looks better than the first one. Yeah, you look beautiful. Hearing what my entourage has to say has sort of surprised me because I dislike it. I don't feel comfortable and confident in this dress. OK, so here's where I am with this. I don't like it because you don't feel comfortable. Someone has to be your director, your yeah. producer. Someone's going to need to take the reins here and say, actually, Natalie, we're just going to make you a beautiful bride. I think that it's better that you have the responsibility. OK, let's do it. I think Natalie's stunning. I want her to be able to see what we see. I wish she would realise how gorgeous she is and how pretty she looks. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, Natalie, it is just so nice, that. It's beautiful. <laughs> what a day. Yeah. You look sensational and I think we're getting to see a side of you that we didn't meet earlier on but how do you feel amazing I love it it's so beautiful I love everything about it <laughs> when I came in here I, I wanted you to find a happy ever after dress and look absolutely positive that's what it is oh. <laughs> 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 it's just beautiful <laughs> it's everything I hoped my daughter would look like on a wedding day. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. It's a dream. Beautiful, Natalie. Aww. Oh, it's so beautiful. You look so, so stunning. And <laughs> you really do. This dress has just completely uplifted her. So, it just leaves me to ask you a very, very important question. <laughs> Natalie, <laughs> are you saying yes to the dress? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a day. I feel so happy for her. I don't even think I can describe the joy. <laughs> no more tears. <laughs> <laughs> this is her dress and her moment. I feel beautiful and special. This is the dress for us to celebrate our love together in. Wow! My name's Wendy, I'm 60 years old, and I'm getting married to the man of my dreams. Look, they look fantastic. I've got a verve for life. I'm not ready to hang my heels up yet. Look at these! As you get older, it's more difficult to be, if you like, age-appropriate. Mum, what about this sparkle, one? Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> my role today is to make sure that she doesn't show off too much cleavage. I like the fact that it's boobylicious. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing too inappropriate. Let's be a bit more demure. You don't have to be out. You're not I'm Katie not Price. wearing a pie crust. She's got to wear it. She's got to own it. Right, who's our glamour pass? Hello! Hello. Look at you! <laughs> Wendy, this is Michelle. Hello, Hello. Michelle. Mwah. Tell us about the boy, the fiancé. He's called Ken. Well, we did meet online, a dating website for people who aren't teenagers. <laughs> when I first met her, I did think, wow, what a lovely girl. Then as the day went on, I began to think, I think this is the girl for me. I found what I think is my love at this stage in life. It's never too late. No. Do you know what you're looking for, Wendy? I'm looking for something boobylicious. Boobylicious? <laughs> love that. Fabulous. Love we love that. that. Is there any absolute no-nos? Just no high necks. 
I just think there's a certain type of dress which is going to be more suitable for a wedding yeah. than maybe she might automatically be drawn to. I think less of the booblicious. My entourage want me to hide the girls, but I'm not going to. How much money have you got to spend? 3000 OK, well, that's good. 3000 is a good budget. So, basically, what we're saying is, then, Wendy, is that you want something long, yeah. figure-hugging. Yeah. What parts of your body are you less confident with, maybe? I'm terrified of looking like Peppa Pig's mother. Right, OK. <laughs> and, and how would you describe Peppa Pig's mother? Well, she's not the tiniest girl on the planet. She's quite shapeless and rotund. I'm afraid she's not my heroine. <laughs> If there's something maybe a bit too revealing, I will say, Mum, I'm not OK with that. You said to us quite explicitly this morning that you want the girls out, mm -hmm. you want it to be sexy. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like we've delivered your, your dream? It's very pretty. It's Have stunning. we got enough boob out? Well, you can never say too much, can you? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> so tell us what you're thinking. I like it. It's figure hugging, but it's not too tight on her tummy, so I think that's going to give us more confidence straight away. I'm not so sure about the colour. It's just not doing it for me at all. Wow, OK. Less is more, yeah. I think Wendy thinks I should be more demure. However, I love it. I love this dress on you. I think it's very, very glamorous, but I'm kind of sitting with Wendy a little bit. I think less is more, actually. So let's try a slightly different shape, and if we want to come back to the fishtails, we can do. Come on, then. Thank you. I don't know where Gok's going to go with dress number two, but I want her to look glamorous and sophisticated. I do think she needs to be a bit more demure. I don't want her to look trashy with too much boob out. Oh, wow. So, Wendy, my darling, I love you in this gown. It's chic, it's still a bit racy. What do you think? I did like the first one more. <laughs> Because of the sparkle, because of the fit? Uh, the sparkle and the fit, and I felt it was a younger style. <laughs> I'm pretending I'm young. <laughs> what do we think? You just look like a bride in it. I, just, I think it's ticking boxes that you want your dress to tick. Mm -hmm. It is lovely. That's music to my ears. <laughs> I knew Lucy would love this dress. It's more traditional, but I'm not happy in it. <laughs> what are we thinking, Jan? It doesn't knock me out. It's quite traditional. Mm. I'm thinking the dress is way too played for <laughs> Wendy's personality. I just think it's beautiful. I think it's absolutely you. <laughs> It's so flattering to a figure. I absolutely love it. We're all a bit split about which dress we like the best at the moment. It's a bit of a dilemma. Right. I can never, ever make the decision for mm -hmm. you. And I already know that you are leaning far more towards the bodycon, tighter fitting. Yes. OK, Super. good. Let's go. Thanks. This dress most definitely will not be the yes dress. <laughs> I'm worrying now that if, as a group, we don't agree, that could potentially be cataclysmic. I'm hoping this is the one and we can all get on board. <laughs> I've got goose pimples. <laughs> Look how happy you are in that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think genuinely you are so happy in this dress. Am I right? How do you feel? I feel fab. <laughs> I feel lovely, wonderful. I'm very sparkly. <laughs> Perfect. Let's spin you round then. Okay, Lucy, what do you think? I love it. 
you're glowing and you're so happy. And that's the main thing. You can just tell from Wendy's body language that she loves it and she owns it. And I can just see you walking down the aisle and people will gasp. <laughs> it's just you. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is just very Hollywood and it's it's just perfect. Positive, positive, Thank positive. You, yes. This dress suits every single part of your personality, which is beautiful and vivacious and charismatic and sparkly. So it leaves me a very important question to ask you. Wendy, are you going to say yes to the dress? Yes! Yay! <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. I think this is absolutely the perfect gown for you. I can't wait to get married, and I can't wait for Ken to see me in the dress. I'm so looking forward to it, and indeed spending the rest of my life with her. I'm really pleased. It's a fairy tale, isn't it? <laughs> my name's Lisa, and I'm getting married this year, and I can't wait for my fiance to choose my dress with me. That's yeah. stunning. That. Yeah. Obviously, it's rare for, for a groom to be involved in anything like this. I prefer the top of that one and the bottom of the, next, the other one. I think it would be weird if he wasn't here, to be honest. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. Because they they do everything together. Lisa? Yes? What do you think this one? He knows what my mum likes. <laughs> He's a fashionista. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Lisa? Yes? Nice to Hello. meet you. Hi, I'm Gok. Hello. How are you doing? Fine, you okay? You. Yes. This is Becky. Hi. Hi, you Hi okay? Becky. Hello, how are you, sir? Hi, I'm oh, very nice well. Nice to meet you. you. Gok. Hi, Gok. I'm Stephen. And how are you? I am the groom. You're the groom? Yes. <laughs> what are you doing here? Get out <laughs> immediately. You're not allowed in this building. <laughs> what kind of thing are you looking for? What do you have in mind? I quite like off the shoulder and boho look, something just quite flowing. I think she needs something. Um, Figure hugging at the top, but not at the bottom. What well, she considers to be a problem area, but I don't at all. You are so diplomatic, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a few issues with my body confidence. We can solve a lot of those issues today. That's not a problem at all. And girls, what do you think our gorgeous Lisa should be wearing? Something more like modern and fitted, yeah. like something that she'll just stand out in. Maddie will today tell me straight if she thinks something is wrong or she doesn't like something. What's our budget? We haven't really got a set budget. I just really want to find my dream dress. Right, so, OK, so yeah. basically, sky's the limit. The idea of looking for a dress now is becoming very real and extremely daunting. What has happened to your body, then? So the more you tell me, uh -huh. the more I can help you. I've put a lot of weight on because I've had to retire from work. I was, you know, nearly three stone lighter than I am now. I was a PE teacher and I found it very difficult to go from being extremely active and an active job um, to actually having to take it easy uh, for my health. They told me I had uh, meningitis. No. But not just bacterial meningitis, I also had viral meningitis. Oh, my God, so, which is deadly. Absolutely. And they said, say goodbye to your children, you won't be here tomorrow. The thought of leaving everybody um, just filled me with dread, but Stephen was absolutely amazing and took everything on. He's been my absolute rock. For her to actually even come down in a dress is a huge step forward. She needs to be the beautiful woman that I know she is. Oh, wow. Wow. Aww. 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 Now, I think you look beautiful, Lisa. But what do you think? I'm happy with how my hips look. I think the fall is very pretty. I quite like the beading and the detail on the top. Do you feel better about your body already? A, a lot better, yes. Especially for the hips, yeah. So, what do we think? I really like it. It's got that element of bling, which, which I think we were looking for. Maddie. <laughs> Maddie will absolutely tell me straight, so she won't beat around the bush. I just think it's too plain for you. 
It's basically a, looks like a white sheet. You've got an hourglass figure. You look amazing. Okay. But I do think the bottom is too plain for you. You think that your hips are too big? Yes. I think we need to increase your hips. Okay. Because if we increase your hips, it's going to put your shoulders and your boobs into proportion. Right. A larger dress with a fuller skirt is going to do everything that I've just said. So will you allow us to do that? Oh, I'm up for the challenge. That's OK. OK. Yeah. This is not the norm for the groom to be here. But I want to share this particular moment with Lisa. Hopefully, she'll start to really appreciate the figure that she's actually got. Wow. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen has tears in his eyes. <laughs> the top looks incredible, but the fact that the top then blends in with the detail of the bottom and the sparkles, just, it's just fantastic. I really do love this dress. I love the dress. I think it looks really pretty. I don't know. I don't think it's perfect, though. Maddie surprised me a little bit because I actually thought this would be more up her street. There's something missing. missing. I love you in this dress. OK. I want to try another shape on you, though. OK. So I want to see whether we should now go for something which feels a little bit more daring. All Come right. on, then. Yes. I think for Maddie to show a bit more positivity in the dress that I choose, it would need a more fitted look. I want her to have that wow moment when she walks out and she knows that that's it. I do like the way it hugs my figure. I didn't think that I would actually look this good in a fitted, fitted dress. I like the sparkle, I love the train in the back. Maddie? I love it. <laughs> it means a lot coming from you because you're my hardest critic. It makes you look really slim and yeah. you look so comfortable in it. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I saw her, I was like, she's walking down the aisle and that, that is mm -hmm. her dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm blown away. This is not the norm for the groom to be here. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. She has a glint in her eye, and that's the glint I was looking for. Lisa? You beautiful lady. Uh -huh. Are you going to say yes to the dress? Thank you. Thank you. Love you, darling. What a gorgeous family. <laughs> I'm so relieved that she's found a dress. And my dad's paid for it. Yeah. I'm sorted now. It's all right. It's sorted. <laughs> and it's coming. Mm -hmm. We're OK. I am going to feel like the luckiest man on the planet when I see Lisa walking down the aisle in that amazing dress. It's going to be a happy ever after. This is my dream dress that I've been waiting for. And I really can't wait for my wedding day. Oh. My name's Hannah, or Princess Hannah, as I'm known by. I feel like a kid in a candy shop. <laughs> I want to look like a princess on my big day. Oh, wow! <gasps> I love to get dolled up, to be glamorous and sparkly. Hannah. <laughs> Aww. Today I've brought with my mum, Julie. You're a princess, Hannah, and this is a princess dress. I'd like to see her in, like, a beautiful, like, swooshing gown, like a princess gown. I like you in tight. Slinky. Yes. I brought my best friend, Oya, who's one of my bridesmaids. you got a figure. My other bridesmaid, Claire, and also my mother-in-law to be, Diane. Hello! How nice are you? you? Oh, 
This is the gorgeous Hi, Ava. Nice to meet this you. is Hannah. Hi. Hello, ladies. Hi. How are you? Nice, nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Tell us about the boy. We met in a hot tub. In a hot tub? <laughs> and was it just you two in the hot tub? No, it wasn't actually. I was with a friend. It was in a nightclub. Um, in a hot tub. Yeah. A nightclub? <laughs> a hot tub in a, in a nightclub? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't say it was love at first sight. We spent around 10, 15 minutes taking the mick out of each other. And then we found each other on social media and the rest is history. Have you tried any wedding dresses on before yes, now? Yes, you have? have How yeah. many? There's an argument of this. I say about 20, they say more. I seem to feel that you put every dress on and every dress looks amazing. So you put one on and we all go, oh, wow. wow. And then you put another one on and we go, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Where have you been going wrong? What's kind of made you think, actually, this dress isn't right for me? Have you tried on different styles, different colours? I'm torn between wanting the big princess dress okay. and something sexy and slinky. It's about what type of bride you want to be, and it sounds to me like you've got a huge conflict. So which one do you think that you want to be, Hannah? Both. <laughs> we need you. <laughs> What's your budget? Uh, 2,500. Would you be prepared to go higher on that? Completely. It's your... Yeah, yeah completely. Are you buying it? Yeah. For the dress, yeah. so. She's only going to do this once. Right. Um, Let's hope. Yeah. I'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking! I'm joking! I do have doubts I'm not going to be able to find my dress today. I know how picky I am. She's always wanted that fairy tale wedding and that fairy tale image, if you like. I'd love to think I could give Hannah that today. <gasps> oh, wow. wow. I can't believe my mum is getting emotional. Are you crying? The woman that does not cry is crying. <laughs> I think it's the princess dress and her little girl in this princess dress that's brought out the tears in my mum. Talk us through. It's, it's breathtaking. So on the on the <gasps> it ticks that box, but it's very big. It's it's maintenance wise very heavy to pick up. So mum, you always imagined her as a princess. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I feel myself getting emotional seeing Hannah in this dress. But I know Hannah's just not... She's not gelling with it, is no, she? No, she's not. I think there's just a lot of dress. And I don't know, I think simplicity can speak more than the glitz and the lace. I feel you've gone. Whereas I think something fitted wouldn't lose you. As everybody else says, as it gets to the bottom, there's just too much there. Her mum wanted her to be in a princess dress, but I think... It's as, not for her. It's not for her. No. I think the dress is wearing me. It's far too big for me. I can tell by Hannah's face that it's not knocking her socks off. I think I have come to the decision of giving up my princess dream. A part of it hurts to let my mum down, but I've got to go with what I really want. So here's what I think then, Hannah. I think that what this dress does is weights your body down and it kind of dampens your personality. Let's go sexy, sexy, sexy. How does that feel? Sexy. <laughs> Stunning. Oh, wow. That's crying. amazing. <laughs> oh. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. When I walked in, seeing Aya in tears, and Claire and Diane smiling from ear to ear was enough. And then I look over at my mum and I can't read her face. Why are you not saying anything? I have no idea what she's thinking. What? I don't know, Han. Oh. Looking at Julie, I'm a little bit worried. Come on, Mum. What don't you like about it? It's just not making me go. My heart drops when I know my mum doesn't love this dress as much as I do. I just want her to fall in love with it. Could you cope with the creases on it? 
Yeah, but it needs to be steamed. It's been upstairs on a rack. No, I love it. I like this. This one's the one. Claire? <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love the lace down the side. It's the material that you absolutely love. I love the dress. I love the bottom of it. It fits you. It's got the nice styling down, and you do look gorgeous in it. Thank mm. you. I feel I really want to speak up and say how gorgeous she looks. But at the same time, I'm concerned that Julie's not feeling what I'm feeling. Shall I tell you what I think, Mum? Mm -hmm. I think that you have always imagined your baby girl in a princess dress. Mm -hmm. And I think that you saw the princess dress earlier on, now you've seen it, now you maybe want more of that. It's time my mum let that dream go and let me be the young woman I am. It's your choice, Pam, because it's your dress. I know this is my dress deep down inside. It is everything I've ever imagined. I'm now going to ask you a very important question. Hannah, are you saying yes to this dress? Congratulations. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you look stunning. I just hope one day my mum learns to love it as much as I do. I love it really. I just wanted her to really make sure that really? she. Really? Oh, yeah. What? Are you, really? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I knew that if she could say yes to that dress, her thinking I wasn't 100% on it, then that is the dress. You love the dress. I love it. Jill, I said absolutely... that was a test. I love it. What? I think I'm still in shock. <laughs> I think. I think I'm still in shock that too. she she did love the dress all along. Mum, I can't believe you put me through that. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. I really biggest... thought you didn't like it. Now I know my mum loves this dress as much as I do, I can fully enjoy this moment. My name's Harriet, and I'm really hoping to find that fairy tale dress that matches my new name, Mrs. Swan. Hello! Hi! Hello, Harriet! <laughs> Hello, Lovely to be here. Congratulations! Thank you. When are you getting married? Um, in about 15 months' time. OK. We're getting married in a chateau in the south of France. Oh, how oh, beautiful. So I can tell already by how you're dressed that obviously how you look and how you present yourself is a massive part of your life. I just want to make sure that I look extra, extra special today. I want Tom to be like, well, I, he needs to cry. If he doesn't cry, I'm walking back down and try it again. <laughs> so I'll be there to kick him. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom's the fiance. Yes, my Tom. Tell us about Tom. He's lovely. I just love him. He's perfect. And yeah. do you remember that first feeling when you said, right, I'm going to marry this man? No. You don't? <laughs> No. But have you had the feeling since? Yeah, of course. Good, <laughs> good. Thank I goodness. So we're here. So we met on a dating app. We matched, of course. Then Harriet messaged me straight away. <laughs> no, I didn't. Said, said him you number. messaged me. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I messaged her. She loves my surname. Kind of thinks a bit movie star like, uh, which never heard before. But I'll take it. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait to be Mrs. Swan. We actually agreed that we might have real life swan swimming about at our wedding. <laughs> yeah. I like a fishtail. Yeah. Quite tight with like a floofy bottom. Poofy, floofy, big. Yeah. Right, extravagant at the bottom. Yeah. My mum's on the princess gown. I would really, in my heart of hearts, like to see a princess dress. I think figure hugging. Mm. Mum in law? Fairy tale. Disney right. princess. So you're with Massive, mum then? Yes. Definitely. I always imagined Harriet in the figure hugging. That's what I've always seen her in. So I need to ask you what your budget is. Two and a half thousand. We can go up to three. My mum's opinion matters so, so much. We're literally besties. You go this way. If mum says no to the dress today, then it's not coming home with us. <laughs> I wasn't sold on the princess dress, but the way I feel in this dress makes me feel so amazing. Oh, Sharon, I didn't think you'd cry. I don't ever cry. Oh. <laughs> so, Harriet. There's a big debate going on with your entourage, two of which want a mm. princess gown yes. and 
you obviously are really enjoying seeing yourself I in know. a princess gown with all the sparkle. I love the sparkle. I think it suits me. I think uh, the princess dresses might be winning on this front. I love the style. I think it really flatters your, your figure, your skin tone. It's a very special moment seeing Harriet in this beautiful dress. It's a perfect dress for her. It's very full and traditional. I'm having a proud mum moment. I love it. I don't know why I cried. I don't think I've cried for years. Oh. I don't know if it's because I've not seen you in a wedding dress before. I just think you look beautiful. I don't dislike it. I think you look beautiful in it, but I just don't feel like it's the one. I think there's a bit too much sparkle. I think it's distracting from... I love the top bit, I love the little ways, but I think you almost don't know where to look on the dress. Are you surprised to hear that? I do think it's amazing and I feel amazing, but I don't want to border on costume. I love you in this dress, so I think we should park this one for now. I think that what we should do is try a different style. Let's see whether something a little bit more form-fitting, a bit sexy, is going to work. I really want my mum to see this fitted dress because I know that it might sway her from princess onto the fishtail side. Harriet, what do you think? I love all this bit. I love the embellishment. I like my waist in it. Right, OK, well, let's find out what Mum thinks. I like the bling on the top part. I like the way it fits. Actually, I'm quite surprised how much I like the fitted part of dress too. Oh, I'm glad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just not sure about the bottom part, if I'm honest. I agree about the bottom. I like the lace, but I just think that's not for you. I love lace, but I don't like the bottom of that. It reminds me of uh, my nan's tablecloth, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sharon. That's fine. Sharon wasn't holding back, was she, with her opinion? No, no, she thinks it's like a nan's tablecloth. <laughs> when I saw the bottom of the dress, it took me back 40 years to my nan's tablecloth, which were the best <laughs> tablecloths ever, but not on a dress. <laughs> I think it's beautiful, mm, isn't it? But it? Well, I... No, I didn't like that. I know she said her nan had really, really nice tablecloths, but they can't be that nice, Sharon, and this dress is really expensive. I'm going to your nan's. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Kirsty? I absolutely love it. You look insane. I think if the compromise is the bottom, fine, but the top bit just looks breathtaking. This is more like it. We can see a bum, we can see a little waist, you can see <laughs> boobs. She looks amazing in it, but definitely more what I imagined Harriet to be wearing. The attention's still on you in that dress. You look amazing, but you still look like you, and you look I amazing. I just feel like it could meet in the middle. From the first one to here, yeah. I feel like there's somewhere in the middle yeah. that we can meet. Oh, I'm going to cry already. Really love. Oh. You really want Mum to like this dress? Yeah. It just, just really matters to me what she thinks. Do you love this dress? I love the dress. It is perfect. I like the top, the way it's fitted. I like the way it comes out. I love everything about the dress. You look absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. Thanks. Beautiful. I love it too. Mm. I think you look the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. The detail's beautiful. I love the bottom of it. It's just gorgeous. I know Tom will love it. That's what's making me think. He's a lucky boy, isn't he? He is. Very lucky. <laughs> Kirsty, dare I say that you think this dress is perfect? You all right? I'm not. <laughs> oh. Harriet, it leaves me a very important question to ask you. Are you saying yes to this dress? Yes, I'm saying yes. Well done. Thank you, Doc. Well I 
can so see myself walking down the aisle at the chateau towards Tommini. It is so perfect. I really hope that he cries when he sees me. I'm so, so, so excited. I'm Lisa. Wow. I'm a ballroom dancer. This kind of style. At the age of six years old, they found out that I had a hearing difficulty. Let's have a look over here. The dancing gave me a lot of confidence and, and it really gave me a boost to get onto the floor and express my feelings. Hello! Oh. Hi! Oh, she's straight in. Oh, my goodness. Hello, are you Lisa? I am. Hello, Lisa. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us all about your fella. It's Kevin. We met online and we had a telephone conversation that lasted for quite a while. It's just over seven hours, I believe. It was love at first sight. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Felt the same. Yeah. Wouldn't change it for the world. No. Oh. Uh, definitely. <laughs> You guys, do you know exactly what Lisa should be looking for? Fit and flair. Fit and flair, yes, with your incredible body. No bling. Wow. Why no bling? Um, well, I, I'm a dancer. Right. And I, I wear bling if I need to. OK. But for me, as a person, I don't like, I don't like bling. OK, so, so you associate yeah. bling yeah, and sparkle just, with dancing and I performing. Yeah. And so when it comes down to your wedding, you want it to be more demure and chic and softer. And elegant, yes. And elegant. Oh, this is, elegant's a good word. So I think our job today is to separate those two worlds and say, right, that's dancing, that's amazing, but this is now bridal. Yeah. How does that feel? Yeah, that's OK. And um, what kind of budget are you looking at, Lisa? Uh, 1500 Right, come with me. Let's go this way. I'm surprised ballroom dancer Lisa is saying strictly no bling, as I think she's going to seriously limit her dress choices, but I've got a plan to gently ease her into the world of bridal bling. I think she could take some sparkle. I agree. Yes, yes, yes. She might feel that actually it's missing some, and there's a tiny little bit here, which is good. Yep. I'll get this on her, all right? Perfect. Love you. I really want my mum to walk around the corner with the biggest smile on her face. I'm super excited to see you. Do you want a tissue, Gorgeous? <laughs> Are you OK? <laughs> Have you ever seen Mum look like this before? No. I think that's why I'm crying. <laughs> yeah? Let's find out what Lisa thinks. I absolutely love the body. I love the sweetheart. I love the way it's, it's fitted. I'm not sure about the sequence. I think I still feel like I'm going on the floor dancing. Right, so, sis, what do you think? I think it's lovely. I do. And the, the, the sparkle, there's only a little bit. I think it makes the dress that bit of sparkle. So you, my love, you've been crying because Mum looks gorgeous. What do you think? I think it looks amazing. Yeah. I don't think you should be bothered about a tiny bit of sparkle. OK. So I agree. I think it doesn't look like you're about to walk on a dance floor to me at all. It doesn't look like a dance dress. But you look beautiful. Absolutely stunning. But would you consider a veil or some, something? You look a bit kind of naked at the top. Um, I'll try. What do you think, Lisa? The dress looks totally different now. I wasn't for sparkle, I wasn't for any bling. But then I put a veil on and I realised that it just came over to my shoulders and it was just beautiful. I think now we look for maybe a bit more performance because then you know you can always come back here for some safety, yeah? Right. OK, right. Come with me. I would like to see a little bit more bling. I know she keeps saying about keeping the, the dancing and her personal life separate, but that is her life, is mainly dance. So I kind of think we need to embrace it rather than push it to the side. Lisa, we have ramped up the glam. There's a lot more lace, there's a lot more sparkle, but you love it, don't you? I do. 
I really love the front and I love all the, the body and I love this design. What about the sparkles? I do like the sparkles, yeah. Finally! Yeah. Let's spin you round to your entourage and let's find out what they think, OK? Um, there's something not quite round, right round the bust area. Is it the plunge? Yeah. Yeah, the plunge is too low. I think so, yeah. I really like it. I think I like it a bit more than the last one. <laughs> it suits your figure, but I think I'd like the plunge to be raised slightly higher. So now we've gone from simple, simple, simple to now quite extravagant. I think what we should do is find a place in between the two. How does that sound? I agree, yeah. Uh, right, come with me. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and on the count of three, one... two... three. Oh, my gosh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're shaking. <laughs> that is what we're looking for, that reaction. Don't you look gorgeous? It. You love it? I love it. You like the level of detail? I love everything. And then I look. I love the lens and the back. Beautiful, thank you. I'll definitely feel like a bride in this dress, definitely. I'm going to go and get the family ready, OK? Yes. Yes. I really want all of them to be in love with the dress as much as me. I'm so excited that I couldn't get down on the stairs. It's quick enough. Fantastic feeling. So, Lisa, your face says it all. I just love everything about it. And it's not too much bling. It is gorgeous. Fabulous. Sis? She looks beautiful. It was made for you, that dress. Yeah. I agree. It does suit your figure a lot more than the other two, but it's the detail that gets it. I really love it. I'm glad to see there is some bling on it. But yeah, you look lovely, absolutely beautiful. You've come alive in this dress. I can see it in your face, you adore it. So Lisa, a very, very important question to ask you. Are you going to say yes to the dress? Yes. Yes! Congratulations! You look beautiful and the most important thing is is that you feel strong and you feel confident definitely found the dress of my dreams <laughs> <laughs>